Greetings and salutations, everybody. We are back with more Dungeons and Dragons. Huzzah! Hooray! When we last left our uh, party, madcap party of adventurers, um, uh, you guys had just busted into the main main chamber of the temple and were confronted by what looked like a high priest and uh, their right hand snake. Uh, uh, and uh, I believe something a little bit. Um, uh, dismissive was said about Mortis, uh, <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, and uh, a fight was about Mort to break out, if I remember correctly. Yeah, basically they're like, man, Mortis is never going to get called up to the majors. They're going to be just stuck in Triple A for their honestly. In the uh, that kind of was the implication. Yes, <laughs> in the God's pantheon. You know what I mean? Just what a chump. All right, so uh. Uh, as I mentioned to you guys in text, after this is uh, I sus what I suspect will be happening. No, this will depend on what you guys are doing. I don't know what you're playing. I, I can't guarantee what you're going to do, what I'm, I think you're going to do. But if you do what I think you're going to do, uh, I'm expecting uh, what's going to effectively be a, seri a skill challenge type thing to simulate a bunch of fights. Because they're not fights that I think you individually will have trouble with. And... So they're not narratively interesting to play out on the tabletop as a as a grid fight. <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> uh, so that's sort of my I, how I want to handle that sort of thing. You know, it's a bunch of low level stuff that you guys should plow through, basically, but will might slowly wear you down a little bit. And it's an easier. Way, I think skill challenges are a better way to do that. All yeah. Right. At cool. any rate, so uh, yes. Uh, uh yeah. You the 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 bat the serpent people have been ordered to take to capture to capture you guys, although I think they might be willing to let let uh, Kalia die, uh, because I think they think it would be funny <laughs> that the priest of Mortis was you know anyways. Um, you should all roll initiative honestly, uh, and I should yeah, and I should roll initiative <laughs> too, and I'm on the wrong oh no that's the wrong encounter, uh. I'm looking beyond. We got. Oh, oh, that's a different oh, encounter. Damn it! I hadn't clicked on myself. Sorry. Let me that's do that. Point. Let me do that first. Oh my. Uh, okay, so I know that we rolled initiative before we left, and I just rolled worse. Oh, you got. I rolled I, a seven last time. Uh, <laughs> that's right. You guys did roll initiative last time. I think I cleared the the thing, forgetting about that. Uh, uh, I'm fine. I'm fine with keeping my eighteen I, that I, I remember just rolled. Yeah, basically, <laughs> yeah, you rolled stupid also, so it's like it doesn't matter. <laughs> I'll put it this way: if you remember what your initiative was from last time, you can set your initiative to that. Okay. If you don't remember I it, a seven. I don't either. So I, I haven't cleared the chat, so that's fine. Uh, here, <laughs> that's fine. <laughs> uh, I see that Sito rolled a I, I rolled seven. A seven. Like uh, I said, Angier I rolled, a rolled a 22. That's right. Cam rolled a 15. You can keep the 18 yeah. if you'd like, Cameron. I don't care either way. Sweet. Uh, I haven't gone for the baddies I yet. I don't think I don't think Eric was here. So Eric had to get going early. So Right. So Eric should just uh, roll so. uh, 13. Yeah. yeah Adjust it to 13. That's fine. Yep. Go. Yep. And then I'll roll for the baddies. Or a 10. It doesn't really matter to me. Uh, did you roll 15 initially? Oh, 13 initially, take yes. 13. Because I forgot to click it. Okay. All right. Uh, do, 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 do you? Nope. Uh, nope, that's you. All right. I think that's right. Yes, it is. All right. And you roll your initiative. Very annoying that I'm going to be going almost certainly after all of these jerks because I had, like, a neat idea to be able to pull out a tool that I almost never have a use for, and I'm just not going to get to use it. <laughs> Ooh, your initiative is slightly better. Holy cow! Okay. Oh, oh boy. boy! I rolled a twenty. Someone's fast. Well, at least they didn't. At least they didn't roll a twenty on an attack. Yeah, fair point. I feel like this is probably going to be worse because they're a spellcaster. Yeah, yeah, I know. Um, okay, and the devotees. Oh, hey. <laughs> the malison. <laughs> Another twenty. Yeah, Malison is the official type of what the serpent-headed, uh, of this particular type of yuan, yuan is. Uh, 
the devotees are just basic, you know, pure, uh, the the most human like of the the UNT, So therefore, they're called they are the you know the quote pure bloods. Pure right, blood. Yeah, yeah. Right. I don't remember why the name can mention is the way it is, but it is, that's the way it is. All right, everybody's rolled. I'm going to sort the initiative. And to injure you, injure injure you are tied with serpent cleric. You are a PC, therefore you go first. I'm going to swap you two. Ah, God, what? No, 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 no. What the hell? God, what the? Ah, it bounced me out. Hang on. <laughs> I don't know why it did that, but it did that. Yeah, that's right. That's what you get for trying to yield the right of way. <laughs> there we go. Injure is first. All right. I'm trying to look at some of the... Uh... Snap to center. Doop -a -doop 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 -doop. 20 foot cone. Will that hit all four? Uh, sure, why not? All right. Well, let's see. Now I need to select the actual select move. <laughs> all right. Engineer is going to do. Uh, as I'm I guessing, I'm sensing a dragon breath. Yes, yeah, so we're going to be having a nice. Lightning dragon breath here. All right. Uh, yeah, sure. What's the damage on this going to be? This is going to be 2d6, deck save 14. Okay. Let me roll the damage. All right. I'm not going to bother Average. rolling saving throws for these guys. Um, Bazorch. They're basically <laughs> minions. Thing. So, you know. Hooray. I'm just saving myself some time here. <laughs> it's like, yeah, I could go through roll for each of them. Their, their saves aren't very good, and they don't. And you did enough damage to drop them in, in one hit. They're flat. All right, and then Inchir is going to hop back. All right, and that is Inchir. All right, uh, the Serpent Cleric is going to go. Let me take a look at what they can do. Hang on. I don't like us all being with you rejoining the cluster over here when a spellcaster is about to drop some shit. Uh, what spell? Uh, well, we'll find out if it was a bad idea in a second. <laughs> yes, we will. Or are you just... Uh... Okay, there you are, Glix. All right. Yep, I'm just hiding in the back. Yeah, I, I, I uh, you, literally your player icon was covering up your PC token. Ah! All it's right. adorable. Normally it's like, hey, is... it's me, Glicks. And this is small Glicks. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Mini so, Glicks. Hey, the hey, way no, this spell the normally kind of works uh, is it is a 10, it's sort of a 10 foot. Does it say what type of area it is? Hmm. Oh, oh, it's a, it's, it's a one target thing. Okay, that's what it is. That's fine. Ah. That's fine. Uh, nor that is what it normally is. Um, however, uh, special things in here. Uh, the serpent cleric gestures towards the uh, devotee on its ne near it, and says, "Give me your energy. <laughs> Grant to me oh, your boy. life force." Um. Om nom nom. Uh, basically, yes. Uh, splat. Uh, empower, empowering the spell further. Uh, and it is going to drop the spell where it becomes an AOE now, range AOE. Um, I can't get all of you in the AOE, fortunately. I can only get three at a time. I gotta decide which three I want to hit. Actually, if I want to hit the two I really want to hit, I can, I can only hit those two. I can either hit both Glicks and Sito. If I want to get Glicks in this at all, I can only hit Sito, basically. It's a 10 foot. <laughs> it's a, basically, it's a, it's a th three by three square. Mm -hmm. um, so the question is yeah, sure. All right. So basically, We're what I'm hearing over here is I'm getting hit no matter what. Oh, yes. What. You absolutely oh, yeah. are. <laughs> You're taking a bath. I'm in exactly the right spot. You, you are invented exactly the right spot. Yes, Eric. All right, so uh, standard action. I'm in exactly the wrong spot. <laughs> so this is a standard cast. Uh, it's going to cast an empowered poison spray. Mm. Which uh, is a con saving throw from everybody there. What is the spell save for right. person? Uh, DC 
normally 13, but it is boosted to 14 because of the sacrifice. Oof. So if you fail, if you fail, you take full damage. If you take, if you pass, you take half damage. Uh, so who else getting hit by this? Uh, that is Kalia, Injir, and Sito, and it is effectively two die twelve. And gotcha. Uh, Sixteen uh, poison so, damage. Ooh. All right, so I take eight. Uh, that's Ooh. not good enough for nope. me. Oh, wait. Sorry, I rolled that on... Uh, uh, ignore that. Ignore that. I, I had uh, someone else's sheet open. Hang on. Oh, that's fair. Uh, but uh, actually, that my con is worse than that. So, <laughs> it's <Fair>. okay. <laughs> fair. Hang on, let me see if I roll higher on this. <laughs> I'm I'm on the plus side, uh, you, are not, do not, you do not have the poison status right now. Yet. Good. Um, oh, Eric, if I remember correctly... Yeah. I think you have the poison status for this encounter, and then it ends, if I remember correctly. Oh, no! Nick cured it. Nick cured it. Nick cured it. Yeah, Nick... Uh... Paladin cure. Right, Nick good. Thumbs up. Lay on hands cured it. I remember now. Oof, injured. All right. Uh, and, yes. And then she's going to use her bonus action to fire an Elder's Blast at Eric. Uh, but she only gets one... She's only going to get one beam out of this, so... Uh... This is bad. Who's blasting me? Uh, the Serpent Cleric. She just She's using her bonus action to cast uh, Elder wow. Blast. And I just... She can cast as a bonus action? Uh, no, no, it's a standard It's It's a standard action. Yeah. Never mind. She'd have to sacrifice another minion to, do, to cast it as a bonus action. Never mind. Okay. And she's not going yes. to. Hey. She's dealing enough damage as it is. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Well, the main thing is that, like, the... Sacrifices are a limited resource, and you blow injure already blew up four of them. <laughs> All right, so that's injure. That was injure and the serpent cleric. The devotees go. Um, let's see. What are they going to do? Yes, 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 yes. yes. Cleric. All right, devotees. Um, what can they do that's interesting? All right, yeah, that's what they're going to do. Um, they're going to pull out their short bows. Uh, they are not stupid enough to wander into melee with a, with you guys. Mm -hmm. They could be if they wanted to. Uh, but they don't want to. Oh, come on. <laughs> Did you kind of yell Cobra and come in? <laughs> uh, nope, 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 nope. <clears throat> Actually, we're just going to... Here, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to clear these. I'm going to clear the dead ones off the board so it's faster to... Give, so I don't have to like worry about positioning here. There we go. And you're... That's not those. They, it's, it's, you know, they they they've got the movement to for the first one to go where the the, the further one way to go to go to here and the close first one to go to there. All right. Okay. Um. All right. So there's gonna be one shot at Cameron. Each of Cameron, Kalia, and Injir, and uh, I'm gonna roll a d6 to determine who gets the extra shot, either Cameron or Kalia. Yeah, Cameron so is evens. Kalia is is odds. Please be me. Please be me. Evens. Yes. All right. So Cameron, you get two shots. Kali, you get one. All right. So All now right, their it. odds of hitting are not the best. <laughs> Wait, what? Why are you rolling that right now, Injir? <laughs> yeah, let's see, let's see if they hit. Just ready. All right. The so shot are injured. Let's get that out of the way. No, five does not hit you. <laughs> nope. All right. Uh, Kalia. 18! That's a good try, but not good enough if I remember correctly. No, I've got my shield out. And uh, Cameron, two shots. 14 uh -huh. and 18. Again, a good try, but not good enough if I remember correctly. Nope. They can eat shit, you know? <laughs> They're, these are not that. These are not in of themselves particularly dangerous. They're here for a different reason. But you know. Ginger, are you doing the uh, are you doing the catch and throw? It has to hit in order for it for it. Uh, <laughs> it has to hit. Was so I bad, she can't. He can't deflect it. Yeah, you can't. You can't deflect that which never hits. So <laughs> that wasn't even close. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Fair enough. Fair enough. <laughs> the gear goes to catch the arrow, and it just clatters at his feet. Like what? <laughs> oh, there's one more devotee. Technically speaking, uh, yeah, sure. We'll throw the extra shot at Kalia. There's one more shot. I forgot. I forgot the one in the back there. Oh yes. Yeah, I see that. Twang. Oh, a 21. That does hit. Yeah. All right, three pierce. Uh, I take no damage. Uh, you actually, <laughs> no, you do. You take some poison damage. I take damage. five poison damage. God damn it. I'm sorry. They're jerks. What can I say? 
There might be a snake yeah, theme here. I'm not actually annoyed by that. I'm just annoyed at the giant roll of damage you t you rolled uh, for your first attack. Yeah, fair enough. <laughs> Cameron! 2d12 and you got 16. It's like, Jesus. Yeah, that was rough. Okay, <laughs> Cameron's going to do, 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 do. All right. Um, hmm, these devotees are kind of annoying. What? No. Uh, so uh, Cameron's going to shoot at this one and is going to do... Um, he is going to do his instruction mm -hmm. of targeting Cedo uh, to grant her a bonus to constitution saves I'm shocked. in the process. I, why would you give people mm -hmm. constitution saves in this fight, Sketch? I've, that, that's ridiculous. I don't, why would you do that? Uh, okay. <laughs> that's 10 piercing uh, that's damage a, that on is, that, that one. That is a very dead devotee. Uh, that devotee is next. Um, this is going to be for Kalia. Uh, instruction. Uh, Nineteen. Yep. Oh God, I forgot. I forgot I, a bit of dialogue that I was going to. Res I. Sorry. Can I back up just for the dialogue? Yeah. Sure. Right. Yeah. So, go for it. The cleric, when she was in, when she was sacrificing the 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 devotee, I forgot something that she she was supposed to say, and I need to get the get the name right here. Hang on. Uh huh. I'll make sure uh, she's invoking the. Uh, yeah. And I did I not fucking I did not write it down. <laughs> Uh, okay, oh, I've got it. I've got it written down elsewhere. Good. All right. You, you shall grant me grant. You shall, you shall sacrifice your life essence, in in the name of Yaldab, Forger of Worlds, to grant me the power to smite his foes. And that's when the, then then, you, then the you know sucking of life energy out. It collapses into a pile of dust, and then she casts the, the venom blast. Does anybody recognize the name Yaldab? Um, I sh I like I'm going to say flatly, no. Gotcha. <laughs> there is zero chance any of you know who this is. <laughs> Can we roll to see how much we don't know? <laughs> if, you, I'll say this, if you would like to make a role of a, appropriate role of some sort, either history or religion, go ahead. Even on a, even on a twenty, you're not going to get you're not going to get anything useful. Oh, that's a pretty good roll. I, I want to see. How, I want to see how 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 useless is my knowledge here. Let's do go it, baby. <laughs> I already rolled a 15, so it's just not enough. Jir is super not heard of this. <laughs> all right. I'm not bothering with this. <laughs> yeah, okay, that's... Uh, all right. Uh, so it is still Cameron's turn, then? Yes, it is still, it is still Cameron's turn. Although I think that Cameron is wrapping up, mostly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I've already kind of run through the yeah, gamut here. I kind of figured uh, I wanted Cameron, to make, just wanted to give you an opportunity to do anything Cam else. Cam Cameron, Cameron ran out, shoot, shoot, bang, bang, took out two of them, granted things... And you know what? It's it's it, it's his first turn, but he already has some damage in the way. No, no, I'm gonna wait to take a little bit more damage before I do second wind. So that is all he's going to do to start for today. Okay. Um. And what was the thing you granted me? Was it just the Constitution bonus? You get a plus three to your con next Constitution two Constitution saving throws. Yes. Next two Constitution saves. Okay. No, 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 no. For until my turn, you get, a plus, yes. you get a plus three to Constitution saving throws. Oh, flat. Okay. Yeah, until okay. the start, yes. until Cameron's next turn. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes. All right. Uh, yeah. It is the turn of Glick Shivshank. All right. Um. Huh. That seems like an important resource that we should probably dispose of. Um. <laughs> I'll just flat this one, and then this one. <laughs> okay. What are you, oh, you're oh, just blasting them. Got it. Yep. Fair. <laughs> That's a dead one. Eight. All right. And the next one. Twelve. Uh, Twelve might actually hit. Let me check. Uh, yes, it does. <laughs> Only six, though. Still dead. All I right. feel like these things have five. Times. You are correct, Word. <laughs> <laughs> I gave them enough that I mean, you should be able to drop them in one at most times, but there's a chance you won't. That is sort of the angle I was going for with them. Translation, these are minions that can sandbag sleep a little bit. A, what? No! I would never do that word. Uh-huh. He would do that. <laughs> I think Shit, it's, a, I think it's a better, that. it's a better, it's a better, more sort of reasonable solution to making sleep still do, useful, 
but not like action. But the sort of countering slightly mm-hmm. without completely sandbag. No, no, I think it's a good idea. And also, yeah. it also doesn't feel quite as artificial as "Hey, look, undead and constructs" all the fucking time. Uh-huh. Ah. <laughs> yeah. All right, uh, uh, priest. And I'm just gonna. Oh yeah, you're moving up. That's fine. There. I have targets for the future. All right, serpent priest. <laughs> uh, he's the big bad. That no, that's this one here. All right, uh, you are the big bad. What are you doing? Yep, Come that's on. the one it's gonna do. Hmm. Uh, I can only do this once. Uh, what is it going to do? I got to take a look at a couple, a couple of actions here. Hang, a couple of options here. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Alright, um, right, I know what it's going to do. Because it needs to desperately, it needs it needs to do some awful things here. All right, so he's going to start things off by using an action to cast blight on Cameron. Nice. Blight, necromancy energy wash over the blah blah blah. Target, okay, make oh a my god. Yes. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, 23, yes, you, fuck oh! you. Um, very good. So you're taking half damage. Yes. Uh, roll that 8d8, do it. Oh, jeez. Ow. Yes. He can only do that so, once a day, so... <laughs> that's 19 damage. Yes. Uh, and I don't think any other effect happens. It's just a yeah, lot of, it's just a lot of necrotic damage. Um, yeah. but yes, he is draining the life force out of you. Just yeah, you rolled, yeah, yeah you rolled, watch. you rolled above average. I did. On that. No, no, uh, there's a reason yeah. the dice, the, the number came up green. Yeah, there was, yeah. An, eight, there was right. an eight That's... there. There was a max die in there, but yes, that would have dropped Cameron to one if you. Had yes, <laughs> yeah, that would have been instant mummification. Yes, that's sort of what that's sort of what the, sp- the spell is kind of designed to do. Um, My lips are so that, dry. Was, that was that was that was that was almost impressive. Yeah, almost. All right, uh, he is then going to say, uh, "Right, in Yaldab's name, give me your life to the other devote, the last remaining devotee." All right, to do that, he is going to use that to give himself another action. No. Yes, uh, they're out of minions now. They can't do that more. <laughs> Um, what is he going to cast? Yeah, yeah, that's what he's... I think he's going to cast one of these two. Which is he going to cast? Uh, yeah, all right. Uh, he gestures at... Uh, oh, God, that's a ranged spell attack. That's the reason I didn't want to do that. They're both ranged spell attacks. All right. <laughs> Uh, all right. Well, on the plus side, he gets advantage on this, so he's going to try to hit Kalia with this because it's very important that he that he does hit Kalia with this. So okay. All right. So he's casting Rave Sickness at you. Okay. Hit that con save. Well, he's got to hit first. Well, he's got he got to hit me hit. first. Yeah. And I don't have a macro. Doesn't have, I can't find a macro for rolling this the range spell attack on this. Hang on. Let me maybe. There we go. There's one. Oh, thank God. Yeah, let's go. He's got advantage on it, so he gets to roll again. Ow! But he misses. Oh. <laughs> he's still got to roll. He's got only got a plus four on the roll, so he's got a. <laughs> I've seen the rolls you've had earlier in this, I, this combat. Yes, <laughs> I've rolled it well sometimes, and I've rolled poorly other times. Yeah. Don't you try and law of averages me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a statistician. I'm going to fucking. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> Good answer. Good answer. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, all right. Well, sadly, th- that did not hit. Oh, well. Uh, that is it for the Serpent Priest. Serpent Temple Guards go. Um, yep. All right. Two of them fall back. Um, 
for what I call good okay. reasons. They're going to pull out their bows. Uh, two shots of Cameron, two shots of Kalia. Mm-hmm. Uh, for they're they're the tank. They look like they're, they're they're acting like the tanky types. They have to go. Uh, I'm kind of amazed that they're not going for Injure, but maybe they saw like Injure preparing for the arrow catching shit, and they're just like, yeah, nah. Yeah. <laughs> well, there, I've got two more to shoot after this, also. So, uh, yeah. mm. so uh, longbow. Oh, shots. so that's right because they get they get multi attack. Yep, right. two shots at Kalia. A 19. It's just a miss. Oh, it's just a miss. You're 20 right now. Okay. Yeah. Okay, good. <laughs> That's not a miss. That's not a miss. <laughs> ah, it stopped damaging me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm at... Uh, okay, so that's 10 damage after my resistance. Yes, and then Cameron. Six and nine. Those miss. Oh. All right. Uh... Womp. Hello, hey. Glix. No. Yes. No, I do not say hello to you, sir. <laughs> he's he's saying hello to the goblin with his scimitar. Uh, one swing. A 19. Uh, that does, in fact, hit. Take five. Ow. And second swing. 15, which will, I think, miss you. That does miss me. There we go. And two shots at Sito. Twang. Oh, crit. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Who's this on? So much damage. That's so much. The poison crit double max out. Oh, basically maxed out. Oof. That's 16 total. Oof. Uh, no, sorry, that is that's a that, lie. That, yeah, that's, that's twenty five damage. Oof. That's yeah, twenty five damage there. Twenty six damage. No, no, it's twenty five. Yeah, twenty five. Eighteen plus. Yeah, eight. Yeah. Oh, are we doing both of the yes. numbers, not just yes. one? Oh, yes. seven, pier- seven piercing an damage 18 and eighteen poison. poison damage. I see. Oof. Yeah. That uh, that's an ouchies. All right. Uh, second shot. Oh, it's a seven that misses. Okay, I didn't just kill Sito. Good. <laughs> I'm like, oh my god, that's so much poison damage. Yeah, well, yes, the the crit on that was evil. All right. Yeah. Uh, that they rolled two d six on poison on every hit. Yes, these are these are nasty. Jesus Christ. Yes, they're very nasty. They're, they've only got a plus four to hit though. So. Yeah. Till oh, ouch. Yes. Sito, right, it, is turn, it, is turn, it is turn. It is turn. It is turn to Sito, who is uh, ouch. As I contemplate with my four health, the lowest Sito has ever been no. in this entire campaign. Like you did more damage to me in that one attack than you have in this entire campaign. That's entirely I probable. Yes, realize. that's entirely <laughs> probable. That was entirely. I got him. Thwack. Oof. Okay, I had an idea, and now I'm reconsidering that very strongly. That is entirely fair. <laughs> I'm going to need a moment. That's, that's fair. Because I was going to actually have Cito run in front of Kalia to just kind of cover her for her while, you know, kind of, you know, setting her up and all that shit. But, uh, nah. No, no, let me stay in front of you. Uh, but, uh, yeah. <laughs> Oof. Well, on the plus side, they, 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 their resources are much thinner now. This, I'll put it this way. The, the, the spellcasters can't just bomb you with the spells incessantly now. And, and the biggest scary spell has been used. Oh, yeah. I mean, we do tend to... Uh... Most combats we get into tend to go better as they go along, but this yeah. is a, this is a pretty rocky start. Yes, it was. Yeah. But yes, blight has been used up. So. Let's see here. All right. Um, Christ, do I seriously have the most hit points? 
At the moment, yes. yes. You do no. in this moment. Yes. I was good before this happened to me. All right. Um, oh, wow. I even know what will happen if, if you guys lo- if you guys lose. I know what's going to happen. Good. Kalima, Kalima. Kinda actually. <laughs> oh, these uh, these diamond things. Do they? Uh, Those they are raised platforms. Up- there's a raised platforms and not pillars. Yes. Gotcha. They're like the, uh, they're about, they're about they're, They would be about waist high to glicks. Oh, okay. They're, they're actually very, they're more like steps than anything. Yes. Else. Okay. Yeah. All the raised platforms right. are about, about that, about that, ra- that raised up off the ground. Basically. Okay. They're, di- so- they're difficult terrain to climb up onto and not, not down though. Okay. So, Here's my line of thought. Okay. Kalia has lay on hands and can heal herself. And if I drop, then we are out of healing word sources. Yep. So I, as much as I would prefer to load up Kalia with health, I really think I should be focusing on myself in this okay. respect in this moment. So first things first, uh, level two healing word on myself. Okay. I want to hang on to a level three in case I need to do something Fabu again. Yeah, yep. Uh, so then, eight health. Okay, better than nothing. <laughs> It'll be worse. I might be able to take a hit with that amount. And having done that, I have. Uh, I have my regular action, and there's not a whole lot else I can really do. But I know what's... I know what Kali is almost certainly going to be doing. I'm not. That wasn't your regular action. Healing words only a bonus action. I said I have my regular action. Oh, I'm sorry, I was hurt. I'm not going to rush ahead if that's what you think I'm going to do. Hmm. I'm still going to encourage you to do so. I'm taking a shot I've at the priest. seven hit points. <laughs> You've got land hands. Use it. I'm shooting it's the priest. Action. Yeah. It, I'm, it, shooting it, the, it. I'm shooting the priest. Okay. You can do that. I'm just letting you know that I'm probably not going to rush ahead. Like, I won't do any good. But please do hit the priest, though. That will be helpful. <laughs> yeah. Yes. That is my plan. Uh, that Wait, w- okay. What? Wrong weapon? That's not what that's, I expected. That's your dagger, not the gun. Well, you that's can keep the roll for the gun, so don't worry about it. Yeah, it's... I think it's the same... No, it's it's one less to hit, so it's like, it's 19. That's fine, that'll <laughs> still hit. Yeah. Uh, I'm taking your rift. Are you, are, you are you just shooting it? Yeah, I'm just shooting I can't... I, I right, use my bonus. Right, right, yeah, yeah. Man, it would have been better if I could have hit it with my dagger. Pile of crap. All right. Ow. That's a pretty low damage roll, unfortunately. Ow. Well, you know, I just got obliterated. I'm a little distracted. That's fair. Yeah. It's, yeah. I think that we're. <laughs> Are you done, Cito? Uh. Or would you like to move somewhere? Yeah, I'd like to move over here. I mean, you technically go back out the hallway if you want to. <laughs> I demand cover. Now, there, so there, really, there really isn't cover right uh, backwards, unfortunately. I know, I know, I know. There's cover forwards. <laughs> sort of, kind of, not really. You can take cover behind the, the, the raised platforms. That's a little bit of a stretch. Uh, they're, they're raised enough that you could that you or Glicks probably could take cover behind them. And injure. The humans are too tall. <laughs> but at any rate, Oops. yeah. Two, three, four, five. That's a hard corner, no doubt. Yeah, sure. Are you done? Or do you got anything else you want to do? Uh, nothing else I can do. All right. Kalia. <sighs> You're that lay on hands on yourself to get that HP back. It's That's an probably, action. It is an action, but it's probably the best action you can nope. make. Nope. Um, 
If they did that to us in one turn, they'll do it to us in the next turn, even without Blight. Uh, so... Who goes next? Uh, Injure. Let's see. Andrew goes next. Then it's the cleric. Then it's cleric. cleric. All right. Uh, and then we go all the way down to the priest, but that's got Glicks and Cameron ahead of him. All right. Um, that might actually be the best option after all. Okay. I'm going to measure this out. Okay, I'm going to move one, two, three, four, five, six for my 30 foot. Yep. <sighs> Misty step. Yep. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right. All right. <sighs> Here we fucking go. I'm just going to drop everything. I, I, I think I'm going down to my next turn, so I'm going to just blow Alpha everything strike. right now. Okay. <laughs> Uh, so I'm going to use my bonus action to cast Vow of Enmity or Channel Divinity Vow of Enmity okay. on the priest. Okay. Uh, the cleric, sorry, yeah, not the priest, the cleric. The, cleric. Okay. the one the in front of me. Uh, then I am going to attack him. All right. Uh, her, I think. Technically her, but it's, uh, it's, her. it's a little yeah. hard to right. tell, honestly. Not a lot of technical dimorphism. Not really, no. That's a 23 to hit. That will hit. Okay. Uh, hang on. Let me make sure I cast this. God, I shouldn't have used that earlier. All right. Uh, I'm going to... Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and say that I'm going to drop a, a, a smite on this. Okay. So it's going to be regular damage, um, which uh, is this. 13 damage. Okay. Nice. Uh, and then it's going to be an additional 2d8 radiant damage. Okay. Which is only like seven. Yeah, it's about average. Slightly no, less. it's not. 20 uh, total. Okay. My second attack yeah. also with has advantage. 27 oh, will hit. Damn. So close. God damn it. All right. Another 13 damage. All right. Fucking do this for me. All right. I'll do another smite. Okay. Yeah. Ooh. Another that's, 13. That's 26 there. total. Yeah. So that's total of 46 um, damage. They might uh, be bloodied. Just a little bit. I would prefer he be dead, but okay. <laughs> yeah, I understand why you you prefer to be dead. I totally understand that. Um. Wow. All right. Uh, and that is how Paladin's Nova. Yeah. <laughs> it shrinks in pain and agony and starts cursing at you in a language you it just, it just starts cursing at you. Yeah. By the way, uh, you're I'm not going, entirely. Re- by the way, it, it occurs to you as it's cursing at you. You don't understand it. You don't just know it's cursing you. You're not entirely certain why you understood what it was saying earlier during the sacrifice when it's sacrificing his minions. Ooh, that's not good. Uh, I will. I, I will heft up my axe as it's swearing at me, and I'm going to say to it in Orcish language. <laughs> <laughs> All right, cool. It glares at you with hatred in its eyes. Yeah. Injure? <sighs> All right, so. That's all I can do. Yep. Here's the thing I, I could get Injure up there to help to finish that cleric off. It's going to go that- next. Is that what we want to do? Well, it's, it it's, after, it's right after you, so that's that is a, a that is a potentially valid option. Yes. All right. So 50. Okay, and I still have thirty movement after that. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Most are so amazing. I love that. <laughs> Zoom. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Ijir is going to use his bonus action to, to activate. Oh, 
Sorry. To activate Step of the Wind and do Dash as a bonus action. Right. <laughs> I was thinking, I'm curious to know how Injury can do this, but I totally believe he could do this. <laughs> Injury is moving as, just like as fast Gotta as like, fast. like a blur. And that's Monk's 50 movement. Easy. So he, so Injury still has 30 movement after this. Did you want to end up okay. uh, in position to get flanking with uh, Kalia? That might be worth doing, even if it means the serpent. I mean, the serpent, the serpent temple guard's going to be able to like, get walk over and lamp you anyway. Do it. <laughs> All right. So Andrew just like follows Kalia's lead, and it just zooms over there and just un un you know it veils his punk you. So right. first one uh, with advantage, correct? Uh, yes. Oh, thank God he does have advantage. <laughs> So that's 10. Yep. And then attack two. That'll 18. hit for another 10. Yes. Ah, uh, the, the cleric shrieks in pain and agony as bones crunch under Indra's fists and it collapses to the ground. Ash, I'm high fiving you from over here. That's some uh, that's some tag team bullshit there. Well done. You just you just launch the the cleric into the air and uh, God, you just air juggle the poor bastard. Flies up combos and yeah. spikes them. You just air combo <laughs> the poor bastard. Beautiful. Well, uh, stun lock is bullshit. <laughs> and then uh, uh, movement remains, and she's going to go here. Okay, just to get some cover between him and Serpent Breeze. All right, that well, that's fair. Actually, you it can't see where you are right now. Um, however, uh, something happens actually when you drop the cleric. Oh boy. Of course. Uh, no, it's Hi, actually room good room. for you oh. guys for once. The room fills with oh, hooray. Everyone gets healed. The room fills with poisonous, the room fills with poisonous gas, but it's poison for them, not for you. <laughs> no, 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 no. GLaDOS does not release the neurotoxin. Uh. Oh, no. Somebody activated the snake trap. Snakes are just pulling out of the walls now. No, that would be good oh, for them. Uh, <laughs> every single one of them has animal friendship with serpents. Uh, yeah. I'm still going with the chocolate pudding idea. The room just fills chocolate pudding. That's, that would be that would be nice, but no. Um, that wouldn't be nice for me. I'd get all sticky. I know. I know that that's that animal friendship with snakes is supposed to just remark on their you know general sneakiness and stuff. Yeah. But I actually find it kind of cute. So. Yeah. Yeah. Actually. Yeah. All right. Um. All right. So the priest and the cleric. Uh, wow. The okay. The priest is gonna. The, you you actually okay. Everyone in the room senses a sort of senses a sort of what feels like a magical. Uh, Snap, sort of magic. Those of you have any any magic at all can feel like what feels like a bond of magic snapping. Ooh, that felt good. Uh, well, no, but it's not happening to you, so you know. I, I guess so. I'm yes, basically but, thinking of it from the framework of like it feels like when you crack your back real well, over at least from my perspective. Uh, because I'm not the one who got wrecked. That's fair. <laughs> uh, okay. Well, the serpent priest is going to be taking how much damage is this? Oh, it gets it. Okay, Ooh. it's got to make a save. If it what fails, it oh, I got a feedback. Yes, magic. Oh yeah, there's some crazy pull power bullshit that they, they can pull while they're both of them out there. But when one of them dies, there's a feedback from it. All right, that this just became X. Yeah, that's a con save. No, it's actually uh, mm. it should be it's con save. Yep. Wouldn't right. that be like a con save? All right, con save for the. Well, it it could be either con or wisdom. It's the same role for the, for this guy, so it doesn't really matter. Mm. So it, they're both all right, and they're both the same scores. Yeah, so it fails by one. Ooh, needed a, needed a fourteen. Okay, I'm okay with so this. it's taking full damage. Uh, oh, oh boy, which is a lot. Um, all right, well. Does it take the cleric's health and life max and damage? No, no, God, no. It, it, we be no. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Uh, I have my oh hope. Oh my God! Look at its bar. Yeah, it just—it took half of what it had remaining, basically. Not, not. It's not dead. Stop that. It's just, uh, I yeah. mean, uh, if you want to go into science full dead, that's no. fine with me. No, it basically <laughs> loses half of its current hit, half of its current hit points on a failed save. It takes a quarter of its current hit points on a, on a on a made save. Um, and odds are it should uh, uh, most of the time it'll make that save. It just failed at that time. 
Right, right. And it, you just need the ten. Also, there was redundancy for it to be able to, to re-roll that if there were minions on the board. There aren't. Hooray for our side. Yes. <laughs> so, so remarkably, we actually did everything right. Yes. Cool. No, in, in, uh, uh, I, specifically, this is why I said the, go in the there. Feedback can be thrown onto a minion, basically. Oh, sorry, then it half, even the, matter, sorry half the feedback can be thrown to a minion. So if it saves, that ha- that the it can take that full chunk and throw it to a minion. Mm-hmm, oh, I see. Mm-hmm, I see. Mm-hmm, okay. But there are no minions left, and it didn't make the save, so ow. Yep. All right. This is it. I set this up to so, be a bullshit encounter with outs for you guys. Okay, so is it my turn then? Uh, yes, because the devotees are dead. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Oh, everything's coming up on us. <laughs> By process hey. of elimination, as it were. Yep. All right. Let's see how many shots I can land on this priest uh, here he, in rapid succession. Go for it. Um, all right. This is going to be... Let's do more instruction with constitution saving throws being dished around. We're going to start with uh, Kalia. All right. Uh, that's a miss. Kalia still gets the benefit. Yep. Cedo. Uh, may I suggest giving Glicks no. an accuracy no. boost? He's uh, going to no. give it to all of us. I'm giving instruction because I can't do the accuracy boost to Glix because I have to attack this to give Glix an accuracy boost. Right. Okay. All right. Um, uh, I'm, the 14, set, four, 14 prime misses normally on the priest. would miss, That's, but on the current... Tr- actually, I, I, Skitch, I forgot to say something for you. Mm. Uh, for the rest of the round, everyone gets advantage on him also. Oh, my oh, gosh. Nice. Okay. So the first attack is a 14. That will miss, yes. Okay. Second attack... 13. I'm looking at my notes here. It's like, uh, uh, that'll also uh, miss. Uh, action surge. Fair enough. 20. That will hit. For 12. Ow. Uh, that, that instruction's going on Injir. Um, and 10, the last instruction's going on Glick. So I only hit one with four attacks with advantage. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's unfortunate. Sorry, buddy. Th- those, those are some very yeah. hard rolls. Yeah. It's rough. All right, uh, bonus action, recover seven hit points. That's my turn. That's all, all right. I can do next. Glicks. Uh, sorry. Uh, yes, may I, may I suggest moving Cameron here so that he can at least lock down that dude? Sure, but please don't do that. Okay, next. All right, I was going to go try to off the priest. Should I off the priest? I, I am in favor you, of this. You have my second, yeah. <laughs> all right. Maybe they'll just, like, give up if we take them out. <laughs> Probably not, but it'll be a lot easier. You failed. Suicide. Something like that. Yeah, all right. Oh, nice. Okay. You have advantage for the round, so. I have advantage. Um, oh, come on, Eric. Why I want to get up close, because Bob can do shit. Fair. Uh, Shift. That'll hit. There we go. There we go. Bob hits him for eight. Ow. Plus... Nom, 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 nom. This Bob takes a bite. All right. Uh, that'll hit. <laughs> for only six. Well. And I already took the bite out of him, so. Is he dead? Oh. As both spellcasters just get bludgeoned down in one round. Nice. Well, after we empty our pockets of everything, basically. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I always forget I have friggin' um, uh, uh, Fury the Small. So I had that in my back pocket, too. <laughs> yes, yes, you still, ha- you still have that without having to use it. Right. I'm just going to say that that five damage that I did at the very beginning turned out to be exactly what we needed in the long yes. run. <laughs> uh, actually, yes, that, that, that last attack dropped it to zero exactly. Oh, yep. nice. Oh. All right. Uh, that it for you, Glicks, or are you doing anything else? That's that's all I can do. I used my bonus action to teleport, then I ran up and stabbed him. All right. Uh, and now I'm going to get wrecked. <laughs> it's okay. Do, 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 do. <laughs> no. Uh, Temple Guard like on Injir. Oof. All right, there you are. What da? That will hit. Take four. For four. Fortunately, they don't get poison on these. Nope. What da? Take nine more. Jesus Christ. Ooh, oh, injured is down. Yeah. 
All right, Glicks. Nope. What the? Crit. Why? <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> They're very angry that you slaughtered their priests. Okay. Ow. Oh. Does 18 hit you? 18 it hits me, yep. Take five so, more. What was that? Five? Yeah. Okay. So uh, 15 and five. Yeah. Oh, God. Why? Still standing. Good. Good. I'm glad. Uh, Cameron. Mm -hmm. First one. 15 misses. Nope. Eight misses. Second one. Nope. Seven misses. Nope. Eight misses. No. Congratulations. They accomplished nothing. Good, good, good. Hooray. Imagining you doing all sorts of, like, gun kata yes. to counter everything. I like to think on Injir. Fair <laughs> you. I love to think that Cameron just literally shoots the blades yeah, away from I, him when they swing. Yeah, that's that, yes, that's great. Okay, you get ten points back, Injir. Thank you. Yeah. And uh, I will take a shot at the one pressuring Glix. Okay. Bang. Ooh. Oh, that will miss actually. Tito is not used to being in this much pain. That's fair. <laughs> that is totally fair. Kalia. All right. I am going to use my bonus action to cast Champion's Challenge on the Temple Guard pressuring glitch. Okay. It is challenged. All right. One, two, three. I flank around the Temple Guard and uh, injures back up. So he's providing me with flanking. Yes, he is. So let's hit this guy. Please. <laughs> That'll hit. Ata. There we go. God. It's taunting me with the non with the non Chris. <laughs> it really is. Uh, that's that's seven damage. All right. All right. Se uh, second attack. Ata. That'll hit. Seventeen. Okay. Nine, Nine damage. So a total of sixteen between the two All hits. Right. Uh... Do, 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 uh, all right, so okay, so, so 16 you said? A total of 16, correct. Ow. All right, that's it for you for now. All right. Injir. Injir is going to actually, his bonus, his bonus action, he is going to perform. Hold on, why isn't this? Huh. For some reason, it's not letting me scroll on this page. Uh -huh. hmm. Curious. Let me, I'm going to reload my D20, my Beyond. That might have just been an issue. There we go. Yeah, I reloaded the page. Okay. He is going to do patient defense okay. using one key. He is now. Dodging as a bonus action. Fair. And then he's going to start attacking the... Fair enough. You have advantage. Yes. 23 will hit for nine. Great. Bonk. All right. All right. And you're going to also going to spend another key to try and paralyze. Uh, all right. Mm. That is... Uh, Stunning Fist. Con save. Stunning Fist. That is Con save DC 14. No, he's stunned. Ooh. All right. Hooray. So he is stunned and then do the other attack with advantage. Yeah, that'll hit. All right, he is stunned, advantage, and Injir is dodging this turn. Uh, not quite bloodied. All right, cool. Cleric would go, devotees would go, Cameron goes. Uh,. Uh, so it looks like poison's no longer a risk for people at this point. At the here. moment, no, they're not shooting. They, they are. I will say they are not acting ta at their tactical best. They are all very angry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, um, it's just I most of my most of my things that I can do are just then not going to really uh, be able to uh, do anything. 
So I'm just going to just avoid worrying about that. Switch over to the uh, Pyrrhos Slayer. And we're just going to attack um, this guard twice. Okay. So attack one. That will hit. It's a 19. Uh, so that will be um, six slashing damage. Attack number two is 19 for 10. So that's 16 damage on that guard there. All right. Um, and that's his turn. All right. Glicks. All right. Um, I am actually going to take a, a bit of a defensive stance, mutter something in some kind of language that I, even I don't really understand. Okay. And uh, cast Armor of Agathis on myself. Ooh, okay. Interesting. So 15 temp hit points. Anyone that hits me takes 15 cold damage. Dang. Oh, okay. Uh, until I run out of temp hit points. Right, 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 <laughs> right, right, right. Armor right. of Agathis is very nasty. Even as like a, a max level spell, it's so broken. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. So... So if if you just like get shipped, then that's a bunch of damage you deal out. Yep. Yep. Uh, it, it, if fifteen enemies hit him for one damage, that he doles up fifteen times fifteen damage. Yeah. <laughs> right. yeah. All right, anything else, Eric? Uh, that's it. That's it. That's my action. Um, I have a bonus action, but I've got a guy tied up, so I don't want to let him go. Fair enough. Shoot us. You could, so. you could potentially deal two hundred twenty-five damage with that. I am greatly yes. appreciating your decision. It would never it happen, but yeah. <laughs> all right. Uh, yeah. All right. He is going to go. Uh, he is going to keep attacking Glicks because he is not making the tact tactically correct move. Well, I mean, you would have to disengage to not. Yeah. So uh, he has disadvantage on uh, any attacks. Okay. All right. Attacking Glicks with disadvantage. An 11 misses you. Ooh. A 13 misses you. Yep. And uh, he takes five radiant damage. All right. Ow! Is that per attack or is that one? Is that for the... That is once, once. Okay. per turn. Cool, cool. Ow! Ow. What? <laughs> hey! What, what's happening here? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh... Well, I'm just doling out uh, level two healing words. So, what's another one? Kalia, this one's for you. Oh, yay. 12 hit points. Oh, nice. nice. You got the best one so far. I've rolled max. <laughs> cool. <laughs> All right. Tito will be taking cover over here and not taking, and will not be taking calls. Um, <laughs> Fair. <laughs> That dude's stunned. That guy is locked down. Uh, Cedar will shoot this guy. Okay. Bang. A 13 will hit. I'm amazed. Oh. Their armor class sucks. Uh, so I see. Yeah. They, they they, they're, dudes with, they're dudes who aren't wearing armor. Like, yeah, I guess yeah. so. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're high HP, high damage, low attack, low... Yep. Uh, they're brutes, basically. They're fourth head brutes. Yeah, yeah they're brutes. Yeah, I knew like exactly what they were. It's like these guys are brutes. <laughs> Fortunately, a six pack does not increase your armor class. It does not it does not increase your armor class. No, that, no, unless you're a monk. <laughs> unless you're a monk, it's true. Yes. If you have iron shirt true. style. If you have iron shirt, yes. If you have iron shirt style, yes. Oh my god. <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah, that's it for Cedar. Oh yeah. Uh, she she hunkers down. <laughs> All right. Uh, I will. Uh, Okay, yeah, I'll, I'll continue attacking this guard. Mm -hmm. uh, so first attack, that is a uh, dirty 20. That'll hit. Uh, for nine right. damage. Something happens. He's bloodied, right? He's bloodied, yes. But the, the, again, this is not bad. <laughs> okay. Uh, so that would... Math, I'm just doing math in my head. Uh, yeah. So he's bloodied. Uh, your axe cuts into him. And, uh, well... He is bloodied, uh, and you notice that as the, as he is at, when when you see that you bloody him, you basically you rent open a giant gash into him. He screams in pain, and you see the blood being drawn out of his body into the magical circle in the middle of the room uh -oh. at an incredible rates. Uh, uh. And he collapses. He collapses the floor, a husk. Oh, the the, well, the circle thrums ominously. 
All right. Do we want to have Injir blow up another magic circle? I think that that's going to be a good idea. Yeah. <laughs> All right. While I am over here, uh, I'm going to let me double check the wording here. Okay, uh, I'm going to use my bonus action to renew my champion's challenge on the guard on Glix. Yep. And then I'm going to one, two, three, four, five to here. Okay. Uh, and I will attack this temple guard. Fair enough. Attack the one to your right. Ata. A 14 will that's hit. Almost, that's a 14, but it's still a hit. Okay. Nine damage. All right, nine damage. Uh-huh. Uh, all right. Ow! Uh, okay, and that's my turn. Injir! All right. Injir is going to pop down off the platform, and then he is going to do a blast of his dragon breath on... The uh, the circle trying to get as much as he can in this cone. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. What damage should I be using? Time, uh, we're gonna we're gonna go with um. Let's see what I can do. Acid, cold, fire, lightning, or poison. I don't think poison would be a good idea. Uh, <laughs> probably not. <laughs> no, I, I think go poison's the way to go. I think poison's the, the way to go. You're gonna give this elder tour on the other side indigestion. Yeah, well, it'll, be, it'll be you know it'll 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 that'd be that'd be it. <laughs> It'll that'd be with, yeah. <laughs> that'd be if you were doing acid damage more so, but yeah. I, I acid, think that if you had access to acid, it would actually be a very good idea. Actually, you do. I do. Acid, acid, acid is definitely what we're going to do on this one. It's probably going to peel oh. off the paint the best. Yeah. <laughs> uh, ascendant, ascendant Dragon's main shtick is the fact that they can basically do um, any of the breath dra- dra- types a dragon can do. Yes. Hmm. Acid okay. damage. Okay. Um, oh, you but know what? Just, you know what? No, 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 no. I had. I was. There's something I was going to say, and it doesn't actually apply because it's not technically magic you're using. It's sort of a. Mm. It's a magical effect, kind of, but you're not casting a spell per se. Yeah. All right. Like it's like is is a dragon's breath a natu- a, a magical effect or a natural ability? That I like how we've come up to this question again. It's been years. <laughs> and it varies by edition. I don't know what it's like in this edition, but in my campaign setting, I'm debating how it works. And no, it is not actually mad. It is, it is a natural ability, right. in, my, in my personal opinion. And once right. again, the conclusion is I'll allow it. Yep. <laughs> uh, and interestingly enough, okay, so the acid scorches the circle, but it does not seem to have disrupted it yet. Mm. This is, I think it's hammer time. It is a potent circle. Um, also, um, yeah, there, there, there are reasons for that. That's all I'm going to say. Well, Injir could technically use uh, his his bonus action to uh, the flurry of blows the circle. <laughs> You're right. You could, but I'm not sure. Well, if you want to, go for it. I'm not going to. I won't stop you. I feel like this is a bad idea. Every like I say, every time Injir is blown up a circle, it's been the right thing, but it has also hurt him a lot. <laughs> well, we also have we also haven't. Tried to disrupt the big circle this way before. I don't. You think. have not. I think you only disrupt the small. You destroyed the smaller ones. Yes. All right, and then I then I think um, Injir's best course of action is just to end his turn there. Okay, he doesn't need to do that is fair. or anything else. Turn of Cameron. Okay. Um. Let's see here. All right, in this case here, he can actually start doling some things for the sake of Kalia. So he's going to be doing unbalanced foes against each of the guards. Uh, he's going to do attack on each of the guards and trying to do unbalanced. No, no, no. He's going to do two attacks on this temple guard okay, here. Gonna do t- first one's going to be for- okay. Go for your- uh, first one's going to be unbalanced foe to give Short. Kalia that'll hit um, a bonus to the to her next attack. That's ten damage. Right, before you do anything else, mm-hmm, same thing. Yep, it, he is bloodied. He screams in agony. Yep. You rip. You basically you you the sword rends up rends open a cut on him, and the blood siphons out of him into the circle, uh, and he is mm-hmm. he is, becomes a husk. It becomes a dried out husk. 
Okay, next person, unbalanced foe for Kalia, 28. Is oh, so. not 20. There's nice. the crit. Uh, so, uh, they didn't roll the damage twice there. Well, um, <laughs> so that's going to be uh, <laughs> eight. That's going to be 15 damage on that one. Isn't that 20? No, 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 no. Oh, just, just the damage roll. Okay. Yeah, right. The it. modifier doesn't get added there. So it's going to be you a total 15 damage. All right. Uh, ow. Uh, anything else, right. Skitch? That's all I could do. Fair enough. So, Well, uh, actually, actually, no. The last thing I can do is position here so that Kali can have advantage Fair enough. without having to... Mm -hmm. Glicks. Having to move. There. Cool. All right. We are going to Hexblade's Curse this prick. Because I'm out of spell mm -hmm. slots. And then hit him with Bob. All right. Hit him with Bob. Bob hits. Dunk. Bob does six plus two from the Hexblade's Curse is eight. I'll slap a little bit of a. Uh, uh, Bob 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 Nomming. Bob so 12. And then again, thirteen will hit. Ten more Aaron damage. Ten. Uh, and then two more from the Hexblade's Curse. So sorry, that was uh, thirty-nine. I did that wrong. Thirty-seven. Anything else you want to do? Uh, no, I misread the Hexblade's Curse. It's plus three, not plus two. So it's plus two more damage there. All right. Yep, plus two more damage. Okay. Nope, that's... No, 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 no. <laughs> I t type five as opposed to what, what the hell should be at. Oh. <laughs> All right. Still up, huh? Uh, he is not quite bloodied, no. Fury? Yeah, Fury. Okay. I, there's a reason I asked if you want to do anything else. <laughs> Don't throw you the small in there. Yep, throw Fury the small in there. So here's an interesting question. Bob's chewing on him. Does his blood go into the circle or into Bob? Uh, that's a good question and answer. How much damage does Fury the Small do? Uh, it does my level, so it'd be five. Oh, well, that 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 is plenty. All right, yes. So yes, Bob runs into him, and his Bob is drinking his life force, and then the circle is also drinking its life force faster. Drinking contest. Oh, it's like they're at. It's like they're sharing a shake. Yes. <laughs> said, Bob's got a very narrow straw, and the circle has struck a giant sort of hose into it and is piping it out. Oh, you've got a very Dug. long Dug. straw. <laughs> I start chanting chug, chug, chug at Bob. <laughs> I drink your blood shake. <laughs> oh, boy. All right. Uh, remaining temple guard goes. Um, He is still incensed. I imagine Kalia, because Kalia is the one who killed dudes. Uh... <laughs> I'm thinking do whatever you I'm think just is going right. to do it randomly. He's not thinking clearly. Okay, yeah, Evens Kalia, enough. odds Cameron. Kalia. Okay. Okay. Ta! Seven misses you. Tank. A 21 yep. hits you, though. That's, uh, yep, six damage. Yep. Tang! My heal was justified. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, and he's dead, so I heal three hit points. Oh, yeah, you do. Hmm. All right, he's done. Cito, but not th very much. Not thinking clearly at the moment. Mm -hmm. uh, for what I call a lot of reasons, a lot of good reasons. Okay, I think we've basically got this one here. Um, I'm a little worried what's going to happen when we finish this last guy off, but we'll see what happens. Mm. All right, so I, the flare, from things that you have said, know that this is a bad idea. Okay. Sito is not the player Fair. and does not it is not privy to uh mm -hmm. GM debate. So mm -hmm. she's using uh dispel magic on the circle. Oh my god. <laughs> you can't see my face, which is probably a good thing. Go for it. I know this is bad, but it's like Okay. This is this is what you do. So Wow. All right, you're casting Dispel Magic. Uh, you're going to have to make the die roll for this. Oh, you don't say. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so... Uh, 
I forget how I'm determining. Uh, ability check my using ability. your spell casting ability. DC is 10 plus the spell's level. Yeah, so it's, so it's going to be 10 plus your charisma. Okay, so, yes. All right, plus but four. Not all proficiency. RD20 plus four. Nine. That's not I'm going to do my reroll. That's fair. Oh. <laughs> oh. That is misery. All right. Oh, well. Well. All right, so I, I don't have to think about, I don't have to think, about, I think about problem one. <laughs> <laughs> you did not seriously dispel this circle, which is a good thing, because that would have caused some issues. Um, all right, uh, Sito, you cast uh-huh. your dispel magic. The spell eats, the circle eats it. The, literally, that is the only thing you can, you can think. You're like, haha, did, 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 did it just, like, you've never seen a spell being eaten before, but that is exactly what just happened. The fact that it was dispel magic is even more yes. perplexing. <laughs> and it's not like it dispelled your dispel magic. No, no, it absorbed it. Like that shouldn't. That's not right. <laughs> no, it it's just not right. hot sauce. <laughs> it's not right, but it happened. Uh, bardic inspiration for Kalia. Sido is going to continue to hide and, mo- and <laughs> contemplate these things. <laughs> the ominous thrumming noise becomes a little bit more ominous. Cool. Uh, Kalia. Kalia is not going to think about the fact that she's adjacent to the circle. Okay. And she's going to attack. <laughs> Fair. 28. That's a 28. <laughs> I, I can't roll a crit. <laughs> uh, it's going to be eight damage. He doesn't like it. Okay. Here we go. Uh, get one more attack. Mm-hmm. 20 will hit. Ah. Uh, 12 damage. I'm going to fucking fuck it. Divine smite. Okay. <laughs> I, th- I think you, I think you breached it. I think you breached it. I will say you, uh, you, you, if you, if you uh, also, I, I have, I have a turn before it anyways. I so d- I don't care. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> I understand. I understand that this is not the smart thing to do. If I were playing this as a player, I would have taken a step sure. to the side to not be adjacent to the circle. <laughs> <laughs> Fair. Okay. Yep. <laughs> I'm I am calling on all of the might of Mortis to fucking obliterate this guy and incinerate him and take his soul to the afterlife instead of wherever the fuck we are. Okay, fair. Uh, I do almost minimum damage, so <laughs> but that's another five. Um, yep. Actually, yes, actually. Uh, so Nick, I'm gonna say this: you're doing you do that, and normally, sir, you, you the, the surge of power you feel from your, your from smiting Mortis's foes. Feels a little distant, more distant than usual for some reason. Gotcha. Okay. Splat. Same second verse, thir- same as the first. Actually, fourth verse, same as the first three. You know, blood gets <laughs> leads goes siphoning out of it. Um, Kalia, you, you're you're a bit red now. <laughs> oh, I got red on me. But yeah. Well, yeah. You're setting bet- literally between it and the circle. Oh, okay. <laughs> you get a face full it's of blood. It's just Dracula Jen loving it moments. Yes. <laughs> All right. Um, I guess I technically still have a bonus action. Hang on. I don't think there's anything to use it on. <laughs> Hold so on. Start, start running away from the middle of the room. I do have move, movement, yes. Um, what does this do? No, that won't do it. No, that won't help. No. Um, I guess I'll look around if there's anyone else in the room to fight. There is not. Uh, okay. Uh, I will turn. Uh, and um, I will take one step back and look at the circle and have no idea how to deal with it. Basically. All right. So good. I need uh, stepping away for restroom real quick. Oh, okay. Well, we'll have to fill up word when she gets back because I'm. I... All right. So, Kalia, the round ends. Oh, it is actually, in fact, the end of the round because I was at the yes, bottom. Yes, you of the are. Yeah. <laughs> round ends. Um, the circle. Uh, you hear sort of a a what sounds like a simultaneously like you know earth sh- earth earth breaking, but at the same time it sounds kind of a lot like a sort of a deep booming gong. Okay. Um, uh, I'm not going to make you guys make any saves. You all have a bit of a headache because it's very loud. And you hear what can only be described as two voices speaking as one, screaming as one, FREEDOM! Dear God, it's a, 
anti-Semitic film filmmaker. Uh, and the circle goes dark. Uh, but so I will like say all, this: all you can all feel basically like uh, before it goes as it's, as it's sort of it, 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 it before the as all that's happening, you can all feel this rush of energy from the room in the room just going straight in the direction that you are almost one hundred percent certain is the tower. Ah, okay. And the, but then the 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 the, the circle go the circle. The, the, the light, the circle just goes out basically. It becomes just this dull pattern on the floor. And all of the the magical sort of sconces that were lit, lighting the room, extinguish. So it is kind of dark in here now. <sighs> Alright. Also, uh, you can all hear the sound of what sounds like piles of, like, things made sort of, what sounds a lot like sort of sand collapsing on, uh, into the ground. All right, so we got to move. It's not that much. It, it's more sort of coming from the directions of the. Actually, Kalia, you have just mm-hmm. there's just there's just enough ambient light from what from somewhere uh, that you can sort of see the husk of a body of the serpent guard next to you collapse into a pile of sand. Oh, that's good. Okay, uh, that is happening to all the bodies in the room. <laughs> oh my loot! Uh, what loot, Eric? <laughs> yeah. There is no loot. There is, well, unless you want yeah. sand. We got plenty of sand. I'm back. All right. So, All right. well, w- word. Counter's over. <laughs> I had to do a bit of narrative stuff before, while you were gone, uh, just to, so we keep moving. But quick yeah, recap. Uh, big sort of bo- bo- sort of big no- sound of combination, like stone cracking and a gong noise. Uh, you could all feel the energy in the circle rushing towards the direction of what you assume where the tower is, if your memory is correct. And a booming pair of voices speaking as one screaming freedom as that, that happened and then all the light in the room goes out and the bodies all the bodies in the room collapse into sand yeah mm-hmm. this doesn't seem good but no no it's great it's fine you're all fine it's all fine here how are you Vito is Zito is cursing herself for failing at uh dispelling the circle uh-huh. fair <laughs> In year is is like choking down what was going to be the dragon breath that was going to get rid of the la- last bit of the circle. <laughs> He's just like, oh no, I wasn't fast enough. But he does know that uh, it's probably not a good idea to be in the back of the room, and he's just kind of like, uh, maybe it's time to leave. Maybe we should. Maybe it's, it's time probably to go. not wise to remain here. We should go. Time to go. We, yep. Yeah, we need to reach that tower. Fair enough. Yeah, so I think that we start hoofing it. Okay. Oh, boy. Uh, what can I give out to you guys? Um, All aboard the short rest train. <laughs> yeah. You will definitely have a chance to get a short rest. I will say that. Oh, okay. If you want to take a short rest, you may do so. All right. So if you want to spend surges, go right the fuck ahead. You can there's you can find somewhere to do that safely. I'm not gonna. Well, there's no reason surges, but I, I can at least get um. Spend two key and get back. Uh, how much is it? I think it's like one d six plus two or something. Like that. Yeah, one d six plus three. So. So I'm gonna spend uh I'm gonna spend four hit dice to heal. <laughs> uh Cameron's going to again not spend any hit die to heal. That's fair. They begin the short rest. Engineer gets all of his key back. That was one of them. Okay, it's doing them one at a time. Yeah, it doesn't work yeah. for some reason. Alright, yeah. Flash R three D Eight plus six. Do we plus. get a song of rest benefit for yes, any of this? Oh yes. Yes. Okay. You get the extra. It's What's that? D six. Uh, okay. 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 Injir is out of hit die. Okay. That was him doing his quickened healing. The last of his key before resting. All right. Uh, Skitch. 
I still have 20 in my lay on hands pool. Uh, so I know you don't have a lot of hit die to spare, but I can bring you up a bit with that if you are okay with it. Uh, you can drop seven on me to bring me up to 35. That'll be fine. Will do. Okay. Here's right. seven. Okay. Got it. I am also out of hit die at this point. so uh, I'm not out of hit die. I'm just not using them because I've run so low on them that I, I need to kind yeah. of rebuild them up is kind right, of the yeah, thing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I got you. All right. Yeah, Ijiri is totally out of hit die. Like, this is all you can do. Uh, we've we've been in this place for a couple of days now, and it's wearing us down. Yep. So That's fair. All right, so you head out. Uh, you book it through the streets, I'm assuming. Um, I will say, the uh, your your dwarven friend... Um, oh, right. I completely forgot about him between yes. sessions. Yes, Uldrich uh, is with you. Excuse me. Uh, sorry for the interruption there. A mechanic question. When you're doing the hit die roll thing, do you have to declare all the ones you're using at once? Or I, do you do I'm going to say, I, I'm going to say, I don't know. I don't remember. I'm going to say, yep. no, just spend them as you see, as you feel the need to do them. Okay. I can save that last one then because that actually hit me to yes. exactly my, I, my number. I, I am okay with you rolling it going, okay, I'm going to spend another one. Okay. I'm going to spend another one. I'm fine with that. I, okay. yes. Okay. Go, go. All right. So Ulrich's. Ulrich pulls out a map. Oh, right. He's been here in different places uh-huh. than we have been. And he says, and he I pulls out his map. If we, if we, with the information you have there, Injir, if we go this way, we can hit the road that um, the archaeological team I was part of used to get to the temple very quickly. Um, the, the, to the tower. They actually, uh, yeah, that, bi- that first really huge booming cracking noise was them opening the, the tower. So uh, we should probably get there. If you if you guys are headed to the tower, this is probably we pro- this will probably be the fastest route and probably won't be observed by much of anything. Like I guess ominous thunder going on during all of this. <laughs> um. Also, I will say, uh, actually, interestingly enough, you guys have noticed that it is now darker than it was before, but not because the sun has set or anything like that. Uh, clouds have rolled be... in. Cool. I need about ten minutes. I'll be back. Okay. Ooh, um, okay. mm, that's fine. I, I, I can ha- handle. There's stuff we can handle without without looks here, so it's not a problem. So, uh, I take it you guys are. Gonna, are you going to take that route? I think it's our best option. Okay, if everyone's cool with it. Good. Yeah. All right. So that route will uh, taking that route will. Uh, all right. So we have entered the uh, the still challenge to get to the temple. And that will save you a bunch of... That, that basically counts as a couple of successes, so... Because you're basically avoiding, like, a couple of encounters entirely by doing that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right. You get... That gets you to the door of the, the tower, uh, which is standing open. Um, at the foot of the door, as you arrive, uh, you see, um, as you're getting close, the, before you approach, uh, you, you can sort of see at the front of the thing... The ending of a ba- of what looks like a fight between uh, a couple of the uh, the serpent the ser- serpent guard types uh, and what looked like a, a group of cardinal soldiers that are fi- that are fighting a holding action at the door to it go to inwards like there's been a group of of the 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 for lack of a term Yuan-Ti attacking them um, and uh, the as you arrive you notice that the last of the the guards at the 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 uh, Cardinal, the, sol- the cardinal soldiers at the door fall under the Yuan-Ti blades. And you see there's a group of mixed of the Yuan-Ti uh, soldiery types, uh, the, the, the Yuan-Ti guards and such, and a couple of crew thick there. What would you like to, how would you like to approach this? Uh, when you... You said they're all like wounded and stuff, yes, right? Yes, they are. Sleep. All right, you're going to spend a sleep spell. Fine. Then they all fall asleep. I've got four level one spell slots. That's all I got left. I'm going to use them. Fair. <laughs> Um, by the, just for clarification, you said that they were performing a holding action. Yeah, it, Who was performing the holding action? The, the, the cardinal soldiers were. Okay, so essentially, so it would seem then that more of their party has headed inside, yes. and they were stopping. Okay, okay. That is, in fact, a good read, Nick. Good. I'm glad you picked up on that. <laughs> so yes, so uh, Sito puts a bunch of them to sleep, and you're able to. The rest of you are able to finish off the guards. The remainder without actually spending mu- spending much effort. Okay. All right. You head into the tower, which is lit, uh, and as you proceed down the hallway, um, do you guys want to try to? Do you want to move quickly or quietly? 
probably quickly. Okay. I can't move quietly. I'm sorry. <laughs> there are enough in the people in the party that they can co- compensate for your, your noise levels. Right, you guys right. move slowly there enough could, is my point. There could be a, right, there could be, there would just be a group stealth check, right? So basically it's either, qui- you, it's, okay, so you're going to move quickly. All right. Therefore you are not going, that, okay, that is good to know. So that and quick. In that case, uh, as you move down the hallway, sort of, sort of as you're going, you run into a few like you know a few individual like uh, serpent people or their orcs or their orc and human soldiers, a couple of zombies such that you were able to cut down and take out without much effort, not any important roles. Uh, you also notice that you, as you're going through, you do see bodies of of Cardul soldiers as you as you go down go, going down the hallway. Um, mm-hmm. Makes sense, right? Yeah. Uh, including at the as you arrive at another sort of sort of you arrive you start coming up on what the re- remnants of another big battle, another another battle between large groups. Uh, it's sort of it's very clear as you can see the number of dead bodies. Uh, it is down to very few of the the Cardul soldiers, and that do you remember the big orc that was that was hanging out with the guy you the party you ran into in the basement? Yeah, he was mm-hmm. like yes, sergeant. Yeah, the there. sergeant is there, and he is basically single handedly sort of doing the last man on the bridge thing. Um. <laughs> As your know, soldier falls to his left, soldier falls to his right. He's hewing down, uh, so, you know, Kuthric and uh, Kuthric and uh, and uh, Malisons. But as he is eventually bo- won't taken down by just sheer weight of numbers. Um... And there are a few. There are there are a few guard there now. There's a group of wounded Kruthic and Malisons left. What would you like to do? So, question. Yes. Uh, since we moved quickly, can I make the argument that Cito ran up behind that group and did a thing uh, before the sergeant no, fell? No, that is not... That, nope. No. The reason okay. you are seeing this fight at all is because you moved quickly. Okay. Uh. Okay. Uh, so, he's on a... You said last man on the bridge. Is there literally a bridge, or he was, is it he just was holding? Here? He was holding a tight, basically holding. They're holding a narrow passageway, basically. Oh, he old boyed it. Yes. Okay. Yeah, basically, yeah. You know, it's a, one tough guy holding a narrow pathway, basically. I often refer to that as last man on the bridge because it's usually on a bridge, but there are old boys yeah. another. Yeah. Yeah. Uh. So, as a party, what would, how well, would you like to approach this? Well, we're going loud. Uh, Cedo can throw a uh, a thunder wave into the cluster of okay. jerks in the way and just blow them. Okay, away. you thunder wave them. Is it? What is anybody else want to use uh, use up any do anything in anything notable? The only thing that Cameron can really do is just fire upon things right, from right, a right, distance. Yeah, while I, running, yeah, I'm, running. I'm seeing if there's yeah. any resources. Like, if there's resources you want to expend to speed this up, otherwise that's fine. Otherwise, that's also fine. Just need, I just need to know. What- Injir has one. Breath attack left. Do we want to use it here? That's your call. Or he yes. could uh, he could use his roar to like just make it even that easier. Also, these are both options. I I just need to know what resources yeah. you're using for each of these. Basically, yeah. all right. I, I can afford to use, use a roar. Okay, use a roar. Great. That will okay. Then you're able to clean up between the between the, the thunder wave and the roar. You're able to clean up the fight without without any significant losses, without any significant other expenditures. As this, as there's just like this utter like hell scream between the two yes. Sonic <laughs> events. <laughs> yeah. All right. So you continue that you continue down the hallway, uh, and all right. Uh, do, 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 do. Uh, Can we just do a duet? Basically, yes. <laughs> uh, not the most pleasant sounding one, but it was effective. Uh. All right, you're doing the quick one. Yeah, we brought the house down. All right, oh. uh, then you get to one more encounter. Uh, you are going quick. All right, you arrive while the fight. Well, I fight, but it's what you can sort of see what it looks like. Basically, you're now fight. You fight your way up, sort of a spiraling staircase up the tower of the up up the tower, basically. And you cut down various things, various things in your way as you head head on up. And eventually, you get to the top floor of the tower. At the top floor of the tower, sort of all you're sort of a bit out of breath and tired. Uh, and you can see ahead of you what is very clearly uh, the entrance way into what looks like an inner sanctum type thing on the top floor. Um, and out in front of it, you see a group of Cardul soldiers fighting some more of the uh, 
the the uh, the snake people. It's a mixture of the snake people, uh, some of their orc soldiers, some crew thick, a few zombies, etc. Uh, how do you want to handle this particular battle? That there are two groups that are still standing and they're fighting each other. Ooh. They notice this yet? They have not noticed. Actually, no, they do notice that you are there. Um, the Cardul soldiers, so the Car- the Cardul group call out for help. Cito's in for that. Uh, Cito will uh, head over there, and I'm going to say, with a little bit of uh, narrative uh, adjustment, mm-hmm. that she's going to uh, she's going to use two pips of her bardic nonsense to bolster the Cardules and demoralize the uh, okay. uh, the the Monty. Sure. All right. And I have a nosebleed right now, so I'm going to excuse myself. That's fair. <laughs> yeah, that's understandable. Yeah. Yeah. Does anyone else want to do anything, or do you just want to do we want to get to the? Uh, Sorry, uh, I'm back. Yeah. Come back. Yeah, there's yeah, there's just not much that I can do to contribute to these situations. Yeah. I know. Uh, we've got. Oh, there's, some, any, we've there got any skill some... roles you might want to do that, that might apply? Okay. What is going on? All right. So what has been happening, Eric? Is uh, I've been doing sort of a skill challenge to basically going up the tower. Right. Uh, and. Basically, when they come to an encounter, uh, I, I ask you as roughly what you want to do. If you want to spend any resources or if there's any clever, th- clever things you want to apply to it. The situation right here is now at the top of the tower in the entranceway before the big inner sanctum ahead of you. Okay. Um, there is a group of cardinal soldiers. Basically, as you entered, you found you, as you got to the tower, you noticed there's a group of cardinal soldiers fighting the last sort of, sort of a holding action at the doorway from the from a bunch of Yuan Ti. Uh, they mm-hmm. lost, and you guys d- dealt with the Yuan Ti. Got further in, you fought some more Yuan Ti. You got, eventually got to a narrow hallway that's being held by the orc sergeant that you guys ran into before. He was sort of doing sort of, you know, last man on the bridge, old boy thing. He did, did a lot of damage, but he went down fighting. You finished those guys off. Uh, and uh, then you got to the top here. You've been cutting down, like, individual, like, small things. And there's a group of Yuan Ti, uh, the or, their orgs, grunts, uh, and uh, crew thick and such, and some zombies attacking the last group of cardinal sol- soldiers you can see. Uh, and the Cardinal Soldiers see you guys arrive because you guys decided to go quickly and supposed to sne- quite sneakily. These right. are two di- these would have these were two different paths in the skill challenge, basically. <laughs> uh and uh they call it to help you guys because they see you guys you, they see people of a type they recognize arriving and they're like, maybe they'll help us against the Yuan team, maybe. <laughs> so they call right. out for help. Uh Sito went up and used some Bardic inspiration stuff to bolster the uh the Cardul troops and to demoralize the Yuan Ti's side. I'm seeing if there's anything else you guys want to do. Kalia is going to hesitate because she is seeing um, two groups she really doesn't like that, fighting that each other. That is totally fair. You can choose not but, to interfere if you want to. But eventually she is going to see, all right, we've got a group of people that I don't like for my personal reasons. And there's a group of people who, to her, commit atrocities against the order of things yes. and need to be destroyed. Fair. And so she's going to charge into the fray, swinging her axe and shouting, your final end has come! And I'd like to make an intimidation. Absolutely. <laughs> That's only 10. Uh, That's a very bad roll. Would you me. like to re-roll that? Uh, yeah. Yeah, let's do that. Yeah, sure. Because you've got your, your, your 12. Not much better, but it's sure. better. All right. What shit rolls? <laughs> well, I will say between that and Sito's demoralizing, uh, the car- the the Yonti kind of break, and you are able to the group as a group you're able to cut them down. Um, there are very few of the Cardinal soldiers left at the end because, uh, well, you know, they've been fighting for a while. Uh, and you arrive, all of you arrive, and I'll, word, are you back by the way? Yep. Good. All right, you arrive at the doorway to uh, the inner sanctum, and I'm going to drag you to the map now. Uh, the doorway is sealed off by a by an energy by a barrier of some sort of energy that you can, that is transparent. You can see through it, but you can't enter at the moment. Mm. Oh, I'm out of misty steps. <laughs> and you see ahead of you. Oh, that's a big guy. Yes. Guy has too many heads. You see a gigantic, towering sort of reptilian humanoid wearing green robes. With two snake heads and a le- lengthy serpenty tail coming out the back, um, uh, th- he is giving off an, a powerful aura. Like it, you, you are, you are all, you can feel it through the barrier. 
Uh, does Zito feel like she's in the presence of a god? Uh, d- d- it could be. <laughs> um, uh, you see in the room. Um, Bob's hungry. Uh, there are uh, some. There's some Yuan Ti sort of standing around, like you know, so this, the warriors. Two positively enormous snakes. Yeah, you know, right here, and right on the either side of the room, right. Mm. Uh, they are quite large. Oh yeah. Uh, but in the middle of the room, there is a group of Cardul soldiers surrounding uh, the Tiefling lieutenant you saw before, and two other Tieflings. Uh, one who is dressed as a priest of, uh, the, uh, which one is she? She is, hang on, I got to double check what, which deity she follows. Yes. A, she's wearing the garb of a, of a priest of the unnamed king. Uh, and the other is a, very clearly a wizard, but is also very clearly a noble. Might just be that it's baron you guys had mentioned before. Wizard robes. Gotcha. What? Especially fancy. Wizards. Oh yeah, very fancy. If he wore if he wore a wizard hat, the wizard would be spelled correctly. Uh, <laughs> Damn, that is fancy. Um, and uh, the big two headed snake thing looks down is looking down at them with a look of amused contempt on its face. Also, yeah, behind the serpent thing. Uh, is what looks like a gate, but the color of the the, the portal is wrong. It's it just gotcha. it, it it doesn't look like the other portals you've ever seen. It's it's different. Can Injir do a hmm, what would be like a, a good recall check for him from the research that they went through to see if this one might the color of this portal might match up with what they know about? Oh, that's a fair point. Uh, uh give me a history roll, sure. History. All right. Where is? Of course, it's the, it's the one skill I don't have. Uh, if you know, it's, uh, also you can base that on on your wisdom if you want. Okay, that would give based on your ba- yeah, based on your best that. mental stat, basically. All right, then uh, that would be history plus three. And you could yeah, just take a reroll on this. I don't mind. Yeah, yeah, I'll do that again. Thirteen. So 16, because it's right. Oh, right. It. Yeah, right, 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 right. Uh, 16. Oh, 16. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's it matched up with something you read in one of those notes about the por- the the portal experiments from that uh the uh, that the academy was doing that the Pyrrhus's academy was doing. Mm, like they, yeah, there, there's notes that there's something about it. Yeah, there, there, there yes, there, there's some definitely something akin there. Um, it, it, it's definitely it's definitely inferring that this might be one of those portals designed to. Suck life out of people instead of take them places. But yes, the 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 two headed snake thing looks down and says, "Fascinating. I am confronted by mortals I do not recognize. How the world has changed in my absence. So mortal, who dares to stand before Yad, Yad, Yaldab, forger of world, the forger of worlds?" Speak your name, mortal. I would know it. The uh, the tiefling noble draws himself up in an immense pomposity. Ha! You think yourself a god, do you? You stand before you stand before Baron Onagar Donborn, scion of the the Cardul Empire, and I have cracked your secrets on magic, fool. I can smite you when I wish. So. Oh. I think the fan has come back, Ash. It has? Yes. Mm. Yeah. Um, it's gone away? Nope. It's nope. gone away. Now it has. Now it has. The, this, the room, all these, the, the serpent types in the room burst out in laughter. Yes, they do that. <laughs> Including the big snakes. <laughs> yes, exactly that. <laughs> All right. Uh, Ash, your noise adjusting again. Why am I doing that? I don't know. I, I don't know, dude. 
Anyways, yeah, just honestly, dude, yeah. just destroy the sun and make it nice and cool, and you won't be defending. <laughs> <laughs> There'd be no I'm consequences to that whatsoever. <laughs> And so Onagar says, Fa, you challenge my magic fool? Fine. You soldier. He reaches out and a gesture you all recognize from the previous fight. The soldier looks over and then his eyes bulge out as he collapses into a husk at his feet. The Baron channels forward and fl- fires from a blast of necrotic energy at the, at the serpent being. Oh, no. Well, everyone in the room dies. That's fine. I was going to kill the god anyway. Um, yeah. By the way, simultaneously, you see the 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 cleric doing something similar. Um, the bolts of energy, the bolts of necrotic necrotic and 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 uh, radiant energy from the two of them slam into the two headed serpent. There's a big explosion of light. The serpent sort of looks down, brushes his robes a little bit. Cute. You have figured out some... You have figured out some of the secrets of magic. I'm impressed. Very good. You, priestess. He sort of gestures forward. And she pops up off the ground and floats towards him. And he sort of grabs her by one hand. Grabs her by the neck. I would have words with you about your god. I'm interested. The rest of you, deal with the rest of these. So, uh, the barrier, by the way, is is just up in front of us this yes. whole time. Uh, the serpent, the serpent, the two-headed serpent, uh, Yaldab, walks through the portal behind them. Oh, damn it, we're supposed to kill him. Nope, not yet. Bob's hungry. <laughs> not yet. <laughs> Oop, hang on. I was wondering, did the did the escort go too? <laughs> I did. I did not need to drive him. Oh, can I come? <laughs> you I'll need a guard. <laughs> hey, boss, I'll cover the Uber if I can come. No, okay. Uh, oh, damn it! I okay. That's interesting. Uh, they went through the portal. I can't undo something I wanted. Other something else I wanted to undo. I'll have to look into how I did that. But anyways, yes, they just they disappear. Actually, you know, I can. They they they. I don't need to have the tokens here. Actually, I'll just leave it there for now. Whatever. Um, so yes, uh, the battle starts to ensue. The barrier, by the way, the barrier in front of you starts, seems like it's starting to weaken. Um, okay. fighting continues. Um, Onagar sort of was looking around. It's like, fuck, fuck, fuck. As he's seeing, he's like badly outnumbered. Um, you Blazeborn. Uh, yes, sir. What? I am very Sorry. Your service to the to the empire will be remembered. He gestures. Uh, Blazeborn sort of starts gurgling, sir, like, and he collapses inwards. And then Onagal draws a, a vertical line down, and a rent opens in front of him, and he steps through the portal. Okay, doing the fuck out. Yep. Yep. Um, the cardinal soldiers are lo- the barrier snaps snaps open at this point. Um, Uh, and, uh, all right. Uh, the cardinal soldiers are all, so I'm going to mark the things that are dead when the barrier drops. Um, which will be the, can I do multiple of these at once? No, I can't. Damn. Uh, I wish I could do this faster. Actually, you know what I can do? I can just delete the ones that don't matter. <laughs> That's faster. So, yes. Uh, the Serpent Warriors and the Cardinal Soldiers largely wipe each other out. Um, actually, hang on. Can I do... Nope. Ah. There we go. There we go! Um... But, uh, so the barrier drops, uh, basically all that's left are a couple of serpent warriors and the two giant snakes. And something comes slithering out of the portal, which unfortunately I have to redo because fuck. Cause I thought adding it to the GM, I could bring it back up off the GM layer, but it's not letting me do that for some reason. I don't know how. Hmm. And I'm not going to spend time looking at how to do it. It's faster for me to just drag a new copy of the token on the board. Sure, sure. <laughs> <laughs> 
Uh, where are you? So something comes slithering out of the back out of the portal as the portal sort of as the portal sits there. Um, where are you? I can't spell for some reason. God damn it! There we are. There it is. Oh, it's a hydra. Hmm. It's not a false hydra, is it? So it doesn't start singing at us, does it? Uh, no. Let me double check how big okay. a hydra is supposed to be. Uh, I'm on the wrong counter. Hang on. Come on, load faster. There we go. Yep, that is the correct size. <clears throat> It comes slithering out. The the bar your the barrier drops. So you guys can put yourselves on the map now. Can I just go? You should put yourself on the map before you do anything else. If you want to run away, you can do. I mean, like leave. If you if you would like to, you may do so. That is up to you guys. Because like we just like watched like that whole big thing happen here, and see, so it was just like, what the hell can we even accomplish here? <laughs> Kalia spins her axe around. <laughs> oh, fine. Uh, I have to update the Hydra's stats. I, gotta, I right. Hip, I should put the hit point. How do I drag my token over again? Uh, Just, uh, uh, there's a little tab on the right thing on the yeah, right the panel. Journal tab. Uh, yes, it's the, the one to. Uh, it's the second to the chat uh, tab. Yeah, not let me drag it over. You just grab it, grab it by the name, not by the icon. Yeah, you grab it by the name. Oh, okay. I drug it out for you though. Just to, thank you. Yeah, there you go. Uh, I need to get the hit point, the Hydra's hit points on it because. Uh, oh my god! By the name, who does that? By the name, it's got the icon because, right there. Because not every character is going to have an icon on their thing, ah. but every character will have a name. It's a good point. The, that is the design of it. Oh, also, you don't have to. Make sense. You don't have to drag precisely on the name. You can just kind of in the general area where the name is, right. as that causes the name to highlight. Yeah. That uh, Listen, that's. A drag I'm player, trying yeah. to be salty here. I don't need any <laughs> people being uh, <laughs> reasonable. <laughs> All right. I'm around people who are uh, <laughs> right. I'm joking. Don't worry about it. Yeah. All right. So um, the Hydra sort of slithers out, looks around the room, then looks up at you guys. What are you? Oh, good. This thing talks. <laughs> this thing talks, too? We are awesome. That's how are you now? Oh, yeah. the master might be interested in you. Yes. Maybe. We're interested but in I, him. But, 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 I, oh, but I am hungry. Do I eat or do I bring to master? It's difficult. You could eat the other snakes first. Why would I do mm -hmm. that? They have the master's mm. follower. Are you the master's followers? Then I shouldn't eat you. Sure. Are you? Kalia kind of looks at the others. <laughs> 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 hmm. The master did say to watch this place until he returns. He did not mention you. Maybe you are food. I'm mm. pretty sure we have a present for the master. Well, he can't give it to him. He's not here right now. Right, so we should go to the master and then give him the present. He, he asked the master asked not to be disturbed. They, they, they no, no disturb. Well, it's a very important present. Doesn't matter. No disturb. Ah, uh, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I think That's the master will be very upset if he doesn't receive this present a, uh, very quickly, and we can only give it to him as per instructions by the master. Well, you'll have to wait for the master return then. <laughs> You are not the master. You cannot give me you. orders. Why is, why is the most reasonable thing that we've encountered in this entire place a giant hydra? <laughs> because it's just stupid enough to think that you might actually you might actually be, be allies. <laughs> By the right, way, the I giant snakes all have both have looks on their faces like I can't believe this thing's in charge. <laughs> okay, all right. I gotta throw. I gotta throw my hat into this ridiculousness. Fair enough. Oh my god. Oh, well, Cedo is going to claim to be a a rare aquatic scaleless serpent. <laughs> uh huh. 
your hope your lying is as good as mine. <laughs> oh, by the way, Eric, my lying is way better than yours. <laughs> uh, you're both very good at it, if I remember correctly. Yeah, we're both consummate liars. <laughs> <laughs> I'm more of a performer, but I can lie quite well. Acting is just professional lying. <laughs> oh my god. Um. I, yeah, way, like, I, like, like, Cameron's had nothing to contribute for the past several minutes I'm sorry. of this whole thing. Uh, um, I have a question. Yes. Um, you said when we came to here that there were, like, very few Cardinal soldiers left. Does that mean that there were any left when we arrived? Technically at speaking, yes, there's a small group of Cardinal soldiers there. Okay. Actually, that that's a point. Uh, the snakes sort of look behind you, see the cardinal soldiers, see them not attacking you. Look back at the Hydra. They hiss something to it. The Hydra goes, oh, so the ones sent back are enemies and they are not attacking them, so they must be enemies too. Oh, you are smart. <laughs> One of the snakes audible, uh, visibly rolls its eyes. You shouldn't listen to them. Look, I mean, look at them. They are wearing last year's scale pattern. They are just out of fashion, out of touch. They don't know what's going on. Kalia, Kalia looks to deep vein to hide. Uh. <laughs> no, they would not lie to me. They would not be wrong. I didn't say they were lying. I'm saying. All right, let's roll initiative. Let's roll initiative. <laughs> no, cannot let you through. You, you, I, I, I'm not certain enough that I think I can let you leave if you want. But no, you should leave. Or, or, okay. or maybe I should. should uh, all right, I roll initiative. Yeah, roll initiative. I rolled initiative too. Um, all right. I was giving. I was willing to give you guys a shot, but I was. I was like, no, this is not going to happen. This is not going to go anywhere. It's not. It's really not. Oh, I didn't expect it to go anywhere. I just wanted to contribute to the total farce. That's fair. I eh, okay. I'm just, today's not a good day for that. Yeah, I get to a point where I was like, "All right, we've got to actually go go somewhere now." So I mean, that's why I dropped one sentence and was done with it. Um, anyways, uh, all right, and then we will. Every, every like rolled. Good. good. Yes. All right. Yes. All right. Uh, since I'm low in the initiative order, I'll be right. All back. right. All right. Well, the Super Warriors uh, pull out their bows oh, and uh, open up. Not on me, please. Oh, definitely on you. No, that you saw how that went last time. All right, it's going to be a shot at. All right, uh, what I would I'm going to roll a shot at everybody except one of you. I'm going to roll tiny and adorable. All right, so injures one, Kali is two, Cameron's three, Glicks is four, Cito is five. Whoever 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 I roll does not get shot at. Injured does not get shot at. Of course, it's the one who can bounce the arrow. Also, the one with the lowest hit points in the party. Yeah, he's he's kind of, he doesn't take damage. <laughs> All right. Uh, longbow at... You only block oh, one arrow, and, and the best I could do is 19. Uh, by the way, do ignore the poison damage on these guys. These guys do not do poison damage. Okay. Thank pork. Uh, Cameron. No. Uh, Glix. No. And Sito, yes, takes six, point, six, six piercing. Ow. And Kali will take, I think, a point of damage when she gets back. All right, it is the Hydra's turn. Uh, one, how fast can the sucker move? Yeah, that's what I thought. Two, three, four, five, six. What is its reach? Ah, okay, so it cannot get into melee with you guys this turn. But it can breathe fire. Of course nope. it can. So yeah, hydras always breathe fire. Oh no! Uh, that is on. This is on everybody. Everybody will be giving me a DC thirteen deck save for half damage. Okay. Ah, oh, come on! Are you kidding me? Woot! Well, it rolled bad damage, so. Yeah, it did. Wow. If you fail, take five fire damage. Otherwise, take two. Two. That was a terrible roll. Julian, is it two? Yeah. Oh, yeah, that, that, yeah that's why it's 2d6 right now. Okay, got it. Yeah, by the way, uh, the token as it's currently presented is accurate. 
Four heads, gotcha. Yes. Oh, because as we do damage, heads get lopped off and more heads grow. What? No! That would be wrong, Eric. Do I need a dex save? Uh, yes, you would need a, yes. need a dex save, yes. <sighs> That's going to be a dex save. Cool. All right, take five fire damage. Also, you got hit with an arrow and took a point of physical damage. Uh, that was, it, was, it was originally so, four. Okay, so a total of six damage. Okay. Um, and the, uh, the, 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 the serpent warrior, these serpent warriors are not doing poison damage. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> they just have normal bows. These are the these are the Mook Serpent Warriors. So yeah, the Hydra slid forward, breathed fire, and is done. Glix, you're up. Um, I don't want to get breathed fire on again. And um, I think that whole armor of a Gathis thing sounds like a really good plan. I think that's a wonderful idea. Yeah. All right, armor of Agathis. Badong! All right, is that it for you? That's it for me. Sito. Okay. Um. Besides so fewer hit points than I would prefer to have in this moment. Fair. All right. Uh. I'm fine. Why'd you have to go that way? I was going to go that way. Uh, and I, I can't go the other way because I'm slow. Mm. <laughs> oh, uh, and I'm, I'm definitely taking cover behind that's the, fair. the platform. Yeah, same. I'm not. I'm on the. I'm on the lower side of this. Uh, I'm going to inspire Injir. And okay. take a shot at uh, the more nearby snake. Okay. Ah, uh, thirteen. What is this? I forget what these. It is mighty big. That might actually hit. Yeah, it does. They don't. Their their armor class is not good. Ten damage. Ooh, right. Yep. Ow. All right. All right. Looks like they have around 60 health. All right, snake turn. Slither, 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 slither. Yeah. Uh, whom is it going to bite? Don't try me. I, I'm going to choke you if you do that. I'm too big. Uh... <laughs> oh, no, no, no. You, you, you taste like fine tilapia. They they, they should be fine. Tilapia! <laughs> 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 All right, it's gonna bite. Wow. Uh, it's gonna bite this. Yeah, Glix, you are snack sized. <laughs> no, that is that. What an interesting uh, mer person targeted insult that is. Has uh, miss. Night misses you though. Yep. It snaps it. Ah, I'm... Two, three, four. Yep. Om nom 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 nom. All right, let's see what we got. 19. That's a hit. Cool. Take 14 damage. Oh. And cheer is not in a good place. No. Ow. All right. Uh, and... Yep. All right, cool. Can't do anything else this turn. Cameron. So weird. Okay, should we just... Pull the damage pin for the round here on everyone. Is that going to be the right idea here? Hmm. <clears throat> I believe... I believe Cameron's going to get the sword out. Okay. And I believe just... Uh, uh, he will spend his bonus action to activate the sword. Fair enough. I, I, out of, yes, I will say that's probably not a bad idea. Move in there. Yep. And start doing some attacks. Um, the first attack is going to be to provide Injir with some defensive Fair. command. Fair uh, so that will be, unfortunately, a 10, so that does not benefit. Uh, second attack, same, same attempt. That's a Ooh. botch. Oof. Oh, you missed. Oh, well. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, dude. Yeah. 
and that's all I can do in my turn. Okay. Uh, oh, yeah. Okay. All right, I'm going to move to here. Yep. Oh, you got advantage. Uh, uh, hang on. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I will attack the snake with advantage then. Yep. Uh, palm. 25 will uh, hit. 25 to hit. All right. That is going to be 13 damage not like to it. the snake. All right. Do another attack. Uh, 19 will hit. Attack. All right. Another eight damage, total of 21. Uh, and I will use my bonus action to issue my champion's challenge on the other snake. All right. It is not a uh, that is, it is not everything I can happy do. happy about that. Serpent. Well, we wrap around the serpent warriors. Uh, injury. Uh, injury. Injury. Sorry. No. Injury. Yes. Sorry. I looked at the wrong no. thing. All yeah, right. Not, injury is not, not a serpent warrior. No, he's not. <laughs> he, is rep- he is tiny and scaled, though. And, uh, yep. hmm. All right. So. We don't have a lot of options here. Uh, how much cover do these things provide? Uh, cover? Uh, this is just, just killing the thing in front of you. Yeah, I was going to say, like, moving over here and doing that's it. That's fair. Oh, I see, I see. All right. Oh, yeah, that's, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Let's go, and Ajir is going to start his attack pattern. So with advantage... 24 will hit. Come Six. along. 26 will also hit. That is 16. Uh, he's very bloodied at this point. Mm-hmm. Uh, so at this point, like I, I, I feel like Injir should be doing his defensive stuff just to like stave off being destroyed, but if the Hydra um, is firing I, 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 him, it's not going to matter. Yeah, exactly. I would say if you do do flurry of blows, you'll have two more attacks with advantage. So you can probably just burn the thing down even more, possibly. So yeah. Okay. Then let us do flurry of blows. That is one key. Start with the unarmed strike. Injir's going to be using fire. Eighteen. Okay, that's attacks. fair. Nine more. Great. And then here's the flurry. Uh, Eleven will uh, not hit. But you get you have your bardic inspiration if you'd like to use it. Okay, we'll that will guarantee that it. You missed by one. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so that's another seven. All right, so, and that is that is sixteen fire damage. Sixteen fire damage. All right. Oh, very close. Very close. Very close. Yes. All right. Serpent warriors. Um, all right. Uh, they are going to shoot at the exact same targets they shot at last time because. Okay. Yeah. So Let's do it. One on everybody except Injir. Oh, where's the bow? There it is. Also, ignore the poison damage. So, okay. Kalia. 16 miss. will miss you. Glix. 16. That misses me. I'm at 17. Sito. 23. Yes, off. Take six. <laughs> six damage. Cameron, 11. We'll miss you. All right. All right, they're done. Hydra. The Hydra sees food in front of uh, Okay, here we go. Uh, multi attack yep. for the Hydra. Okay. Makes uh, many bite attacks right. as it is heads. Ah, uh, so, okay. All right. Uh,. First attack, and it's got... Actually, it's going to move, so hang on. Oh. All right, oh, two okay. attacks on Kalia, two attacks on Cameron. Okay, uh, do the attacks on me first? Yes, I figured. It, again, it doesn't know this. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. First bite. <laughs> Misses. Miss. Misses terribly. Oh, wow. That's a fumble. All right. All right. Cameron, these are with disadvantage or something? Uh, so or you, is, know, you get the free if, attack. If it, you get the free attack. That's it. Is. Yeah. Right. I get sentinel attack. Right. So, um, yeah, I will attack it uh, just normally with my axe. All right. So that is a miss. So I tried. All right, Cameron. Nineteen. Go oh. ahead. Take thirteen. Actually, uh, yeah, that thirteen. That's fine. And second bite. Eighteen. Oh, pardon me. That misses. All right. Hydra is done. All right. Glicks. Uh, 
All right. Sorry. Uh, uh, hop, jump over here. Yep, you have advantage now. Me some advantage. Um, we will actually hex oh. the. Uh, you you you, you do that. Uh, uh, Mecha, Cedo and Glix were taking cover. Do, wouldn't that mean that the, the the arrow that came at me would have disadvantage? You are correct, Word? I forgot. Okay, so you'll... I'll re-roll that. Oh, there's a chance. Yeah. Good point, Word. Misses you. Hooray. <laughs> you are correct, Word. <laughs> you had cover. I forgot. That was me forgetting. Well, that's a dirty 20 on the... the That'll hit. Eight... Eight plus hex damage plus Bob. Just give me a total. Twelve. Fourteen. Fourteen. Sixteen. Yeah. Sixteen total? Yep. Okay. Ow. Uh, second attack? Second Sorry. Attack, Bob. Sorry. Before you do that, uh, the two that's at the end of your damage there, so is that rolling a d4... And then you do another d4? Uh, I don't know what's going on with that two on the end of my damage. We're two-handed. Okay. Wasn't that like your hex damage or something? No, because no. it's the bob. It, 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 say, it, says, it says necrotic per wound DC 15 constitution save ends effect. That oh, is... if, he's, if they're oh, wounded. Oh. Okay. Okay, yeah. Oh, and I can once per turn and uh, wound him. Yeah, so he's he is wounded and hexed. All right, so that... Okay, that, that this attack hits... So now th that's one from the wound, plus 10 slashing. Aha, all so right, 11. so 11. So it's 11 more. And damage from Hex is another six. Jesus Christ, all right. Uh, <laughs> ow! Uh, bloodied snake. And uh, that's what I can do. It was pretty good. That's my action, my movement, and my... my Cito! That's all your movement? Not all my movement, but I, I'm giving you advantage if should you should you choose to use it to I don't know, give it a kiss or <laughs> slap. The tail. I don't know what you do for melee. So. Uh, boop it snoot or something. I don't know. I've never seen you actually attack anything in melee. I don't know what you do. Just get a dagger. I do have a dagger, <laughs> and I'm kind of tempted to use it right now. Honestly, <laughs> that's but, actually uh, honestly fair. Uh, yeah, it might do more damage. Depends on what she what she's planning on doing. Okay, so don't like being in melee. I don't blame you. Uh, all right, so oh man, that's all. That's so many eggs in one basket. Ugh. Um, damn it. All right. Uh, am I going to be in disadvantage if I take a shot at something that isn't this thing? Yes. Yeah. Of course I am. Actually, actually, you'll have disadvantage for taking a shot, period, because yeah. you're in melee. Right. You, you would have to, to your hands. You would have to use. You'd have to use a bonus action to disengage, basically. Uh, except to disengage is an action, action action. action. Yes. Oh, sorry. I'm going to get confused on certain class features. Yeah. 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 Sorry. Yeah. That's why I'm. That's why I'm complaining. <laughs> well, yeah. Sorry. Yeah. No. Um. On the positive side, they don't have good AC, but. I mean, like you, you have a high. You have a pretty good chance of hitting it. You have a plus five to the attack roll. At least, right? So. I mean, the other option is that you just like take an attack of opportunity to step away from it. Uh, it will have disadvantage on the roll because of my mark. That's a good point. Yeah. All right, let's do that. All right, step away. It'll take okay. free attack. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, See, so, you know, we relocate over here. Eleven will miss you. Aha! All right, I'm shooting the snake that all the three of them are all muck, muck, mucked up. Fair with. enough. Because uh, I would like there to be fewer things attacking us when that turn order comes. That around. is totally fair. <laughs> These... I'm gonna. Snake I'm gonna attack Cito takes five, takes five radius. It does. Yes, thank you. Yep. And I'm going to uh, I'm going to go all in on this. I'm going to riff shot Fair this enough. motherfucker. Twenty two will nice. hit. And man, that 
damage is such garbage. Uh, so five damage. I don't think that's going to take it out. Um, no, but it will relocate it, and I could use my reaction to attack it. All right. Oh yeah. Sure. With Great. advantage. Sure. Bop or something. Uh, does go. fourteen hit? Yes, it does. Yeah, twelve hits. So. Okay, so that's going to be one d eight plus five plus an additional one d six. So it, it did. <laughs> yeah, so that's an additional eleven damage. Oh, it very did. There. All right. Ooh, Ray. Good. Good call. Good call. That was good. Okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, giant snake. The other giant snake will attempt to eat Glicks. Uh, uh, it also has something. this. I know he does. Make his con save. Also. Oh yeah, that's a good point. I hope it. I hope it hits and does crap damage, so it explodes. <laughs> it makes his con save. Yeah, it makes his con save, so it doesn't bleed. Om nom nom. With disadvantage. Ten. That will miss. Ten. And misses. Ah. Sits, sits. It, he very has a very look of. Would you sit still? No. <laughs> All right, Cameron. Okay, cool. Um, boop. Um. All right. Uh, we're going to attempt to. Uh, first and foremost, bonus action. I'm just gonna. Heal myself. Wow, minimum. Uh, minimum. Sucks. Dice don't like you this fr- this combat, dude. No, this session. Yeah, no, they really, really, yeah. they have not been your friend. Um. Okay. Uh. These are going to be mostly to bolster Kalia's efforts. So we're going to start by unbalancing Fair foe. Enough. A crit. Oh, nice. Crit. <laughs> so dude, we just go. had to complain enough. <laughs> so. That is going to be that's going to be a uh, sixteen damage plus two d six fire damage. Yeah. Yep. So is it one d six normally? Yes, one d six normally. Yes. Yep. For okay. The, for gotcha. The, Just double checking. So that's uh, first attack is twenty three. Twenty three damage. Uh, second attack is going to be doing. Um, uh, it's going to be do, uh, the fo- subsequent attacks are going to be hmm, no no the subsequent is going to be. Uh, defensive command for Kalia. Okay. Um, that's a second crit. <laughs> oh, and crit. Awesome. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Uh, so that's going to be an additional. Well, oh, that's much uh, less damage much less there. Damage, yes. But fifteen. So that's well, 15 just, uh, damage. Yeah. Uh, action surge. We'll repeat that again. Yeah, uh, this command is. Okay. Yep. Uh, you have lopped a head off. With does the fire fact that it's fu- no with fire less. damage, yes. <laughs> yeah, like, does that cauterize yes, it? Yes, it does. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, action surge. Um, this one's going to be... Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. Unfortunately, I, uh, this is going to be uh, unbalanced foe for Injir. Okay. 22 will uh, hit. 22. So that's going to be 13 plus D6. Plus fire. D6. That's, a, that's another 19 oh, damage. Oh, boy. Uh rolled more than when you crit. Jesus. No, that's that's, um, more, that and, is, and that's the, correct, yes. No, it's not. Yeah, uh, and then the last attack will be instruction. I'm going to give a dexterity saving throw to in, to engineer. Right. 20 will uh, also hit. Tw- 20, that'll be 13 yep. plus uh, 3, so that'll be 16 <laughs> damage there. Hey, <laughs> just go done. fucking just blender this guy. You just get, we just got done complaining about how your rolls were doing bad, um, and you just did 32, <laughs> 47, uh, 60. You just did 70 damage in one turn, <laughs> the total Total 70? I may, may have missed I may have dropped the number there. Okay, yeah, I did slightly. Uh, yeah. So that is- 70 damage, all with fire typing on it. Yep. Um, hang on. I suspect the Hydra is displeased. Uh, yes, it is. Uh, it is bloodied. Uh, and and it's down two heads. heads. Have, yeah, it's down two heads, and it didn't gain any new heads. Yes, so. you them. Um, it has a bloodied reaction. Sure, uh, sure. It attempts to bite you I twice. Assume. 
It's gonna bite me twice. Well, you attacked it. You you just attacked. It. It's not happy with you, Skitch. You you just unloaded like a friend Ginzu. Uh, that was awesome, by the way, Skitch. I love that. Yeah. <laughs> way to go, buzz on this guy. Well done. Yeah. Attempts to bite you. Of course, Kalia, would you like to do something? Unfortunately, I cannot. I've already used my reaction. Fair enough. Do, just true. kill for it. Twenty-four. Okay. Mm. Okay. Second attack. Second attack. Twenty-two. Oh, <laughs> you're still up. <laughs> <laughs> one hit point, baby! <laughs> what is this party? We're a bunch of one hit point wonders! Awesome. <laughs> They're still up, dude! <laughs> the only hit point that matters is the last That's one. That's true! <laughs> Call ya! <laughs> Alright. Uh, I've got Cameron helping me flank this thing, so I'll attack it. Yep. Also, you got bonuses from Cameron. <laughs> uh, what, so, plus, it, so, plus three to your attack roll. Plus three flat on these, okay. Mm -hmm. uh, I roll with advantage, but ta, uh, that is, uh, that's yeah. By law. Um, I really, really wish that I that hitting by a lot gave roll, me a crit. Do all your attack no. rolls and then do all your damage rolls. Uh, well, because I want to see if I uh, get a crit, because then I'm going to pop a divine smite yep. on it. Yes, yeah, so that's why yeah. I say do your attack rolls, then your damage rolls. Uh, well, it's still twelve. Twelve yeah. damage. All right. Ow! Uh, ow! 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 ow. Nope. This God damn it. <laughs> this is a 30 to hit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Another 14 damage. God damn. All right. So that's a, what, 26? 26, 26 God. total. We've dealt 90. We've dealt 96 damage to this thing. Um, well, that's another head I, down. Yeah. I, I imagine that's not going to stay the case. Uh, for the moment, it, it, it not until the Hydra's turn. Um, yeah. So, uh... <laughs> I could either put my if I if I am a it little does, worried about about because mm -hmm. I can give it disadvantage to attack Cameron if I mark it and I if feel you do, like if you, if you throw a smite I think Injure has a very solid chance of just killing the damn thing. I mean, yeah, I guess that's a good point too. I mean, I'm not going <laughs> to. I wouldn't. I'm not going to smite anything else in this room. So I guess I will do that. Yes, mm -hmm. fair. <laughs> even mm -hmm. if it's not critting. So, and besides, it doesn't cost an action to do that anyway. So yeah, yeah I just throw it on there. Uh, so that is going to be an additional 10. <laughs> ten damage. God damn! So that's pretty good. So we are up to what? One hundred and hundred six. Yeah. Okay. Uh, that's so, my last spell slot. So I can't see its health bar, but I know it's under a quarter health. Uh, <laughs> but but mm -hmm. let me tell you, I not I did not set up properly. Hang on. And by the way, Injir will have advantage on attacks against it uh, if it moves in position, and okay, plus three to attack rolls as well. So okay, uh, wait. So does Injir require positioning to get an advantage? Well, yeah, Indra can move in and get advantage, basically, as an option. But even if even if the Indra didn't move advantageously, um, Indra well, will let get... Do, let me just do that so you can get advantage. I mean, there are a couple yeah. spots you can get advantage from also, to, to yeah. Yeah, it, yeah. From that point... Oh, right. Injure, You're a monk. Yeah. <laughs> Indra yeah. can just, like, go in here, kick its ass, and then duck back into cover. Yeah. Well, yeah, I'm, that's gonna, true. I'm, gonna, I'm going to do that because it's just easiest it's to use. Strictly speaking... Absolutely. Uh, Actually, Kalia, if if you don't move there and mm -hmm. and Injir moves there, he could actually do a a thirty foot uh, straight line fire breath oh. through the Hydra and hit the giant snake. That's an idea. I think that I would prioritize making sure it. the Hydra is dead. The snake is not that much of a threat right now. All right. Well, then we will. I understand yeah. your point, though. Glix Glix ha yep. Glix moves before the snake moves. Is exactly. The, uh, yeah. All right. Just to be extra safe, uh, I am going to move my divine challenge from the giant snake over to. I kind of guess that might be the case, but I wasn't going to say anything. So, uh, we're going to stop marking the snake and move it to the hydra, and there we go. That's that's all my everything. So, all right, Injir, Injir, Injir. This is where we want him to be, and Injir right. just goes nuts. Hit that thing! It is some kung fu. Uh, 24 will hit. All right, that's one. 10 bludgeoning damage. All right. <laughs> 10 bludgeoning damage. Move. All right. Also, Come on, can, baby. Okay. And your unarmed right. strikes, you can make them fire to make sure to cauterize those roots, baby. I'm going to do the flurry blows just in case I miss. <laughs> I'm declaring it now. Fair enough. Let's fire. That'll hit. Yep. That drops it. That drops yep. it. 
That, okay, and then... Uh, the judges have rated this execution. 10, right. 10, 10. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. He goes over to the giant snake. I, is this going to be an advantage, too, because he's between Glixen uh, and... Not on that square. All right. Uh, you you to the right. Be, you need to be here. Yeah. Okay, so, so 5, 10, 15, 20... 25, 30, 35, 40. Okay, I cannot move any further. So this will be just a regular. Yeah, your odds of hitting are good. I'm just going to say that. It's It's got low AC. It's got... Oh, yeah, you're good. You're good. Nine fire. Nine fire. It doesn't quite kill it, but it's really fucking close. Oh, God. Uh, <laughs> Lex will take care of you that. Know what? Don't worry. I'm just going to. I. I... <sighs> All right. It's Turn of the Serpent Warriors. Uh, usual same four targets I'm going to go for. Uh, so everyone except for... Injure. Injure. Injure, okay. <laughs> Although, th there's a, like, yeah, they, they don't have a good sight on line. They, like, they've got terrible sight lines on a couple people, so, but, you know. So, mm -hmm. Kalia. Mm -hmm. uh, twang. Where are you? There you are. Twang. 17. Miss. Miss. Cameron. 8. Miss. Flix. 5. <laughs> <laughs> and you know what? I'm not even gonna roll against you two after that fumble. <laughs> a, it's th it's you got you've got it's you've got cover. B, just it, no. I'm not bothering. No. <laughs> okay, oh, no. Is no. The Hydra would normally go here, but it is dead. It smolders. Glicks. Yep. Um. The fact that there are at least two of you in the party that could apply fire damage to it made that much easier than it would have been normally. <laughs> go here, so mm -hmm. I can get advantage. Fair enough. Sixteen will hit. Uh, you cannot do less than three uh, damage. It's in physically impossible. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> slide the hex over to the serpent warrior in the corner there. Yeah, and I have exactly enough movement. Fair enough. You hit. It dies. <laughs> oh, serpent warrior just dies. Okay. These are mukified. Oh, okay. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Expecting I have to carve through forty points of damage there. Nope. And uh, yeah, we're. I'm not going to. Uh, yeah, we're not. We're not. I, we, Cito, you can. Cito. Yeah, da it's dead. <laughs> Cito, <laughs> you crit the last fucker. Nice. Hey, I'll say. Boom. Headshot. There it is. There's my, there's my attack damage. <laughs> Boom. Headshot. All right, you have de you have defeated the guys in here. What would you like Wait to up. do now? Uh, is the lieutenant just full dead? Oh yeah. Okay. He he is a he is a husk on the ground. All, all of his yes, he is a shriveled husk. You know, looks like you. Un, it looks like you have removed the, the 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 wraps off of mummy. Uh, I would say that Cameron would pat Injure in the back, but he's afraid he would kill Injure in the process <laughs> of doing so. Injure feels the same way about Cameron. There's, 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 there's that unusual sort of look, like hey. Hey, <laughs> I, I I think a thumbs up is too aggressive for this situation here. Hold on, hold on, hold on, guys. I think I got something in here. Ram rummaging through the bag, and um, here, kelp liquor. <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> I was actually looking earlier for healing potions. We don't have any. <laughs> Cito is going to get away from the critically dire back padding squad. <laughs> All right. Anyways, Oof. all right. So uh, yeah. that could have gone I, so much worse than it did. Uh, yeah. Way to come through in the clutch, kids. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Boy, howdy. Um. Okay. I guess we'll want to take a look in the lieutenant's stuff. Yes. He's the only yeah. one I think might have anything useful on him. So. Uh, he does <laughs> actually. Uh, oh. What does the lieutenant have? That's a good question. Uh. Wait a second. I think he does. I think actually, hold on. Where are my notes on him? I think. Aha. Uh, okay. He has on him uh, a very nice looking, uh, very nice looking rapier. Mm. Um, yeah. Very, 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 very nice looking. Uh, Looks, That's Cameron's attention. Yeah, I am not surprised. Uh, 
a also equally very nice looking hand crossbow. Mm, nice. Um, a belt pouch with uh, what looks like about roughly sixty gold gold sort of gold coin sixty gold in a, a not actually gold coins but like a mixture of coins that equal to about sixty gold worth of coins in Cardul currency. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So zero coins, gotcha. <laughs> wow. All right. Ouch. Uh, uh, he has uh, his journal. Um, rank insignia, all that usual stuff. You know, not surprising. Um, uh, he's got a few. He's got a few. Uh, he's got a belt pouch that has three flasks in it with sort of reddish liquid in them. Um. Let's see. Ooh, liquor. Uh, there li- th- does not look like liquor. I'll put it that way. No, it, it, this is clearly some sort of red wine brandy. Uh, sure, that's what it is. <laughs> um, what I, I'm, I'm pretty sure each year's gonna look at those later with this medicine and his herbalism and be like, "Yeah, healing potions." Uh, that, th- <laughs> yes. <laughs> there, he in fact has three potions of healing, which he didn't get to use because uh, something happened to him. Uh, yeah. <laughs> He got his soul taken out really quickly, so yeah. um, he got exsanguinated. His soul got swallowed. Nice. Basically, yes. <laughs> Is there anything else of note? Um... Oh yeah, a quiver. He's got a quiver with bolts for his cross, hand crossbow. Unsurprising. Uh, two of the bolts in there looks are uh, sort of sort of look like they're met- black metallic. Look like they're sort of made of. They're sort of black and metallic looking. They're 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 different. Mm. Um, he has, ah, yes, he has a, also in a different belt pouch, he has a couple of different flasks with sort of an oily green liquid in them. Very thick and viscous. Um, Kalia is going to take the journal okay. and she's going to like very, very briefly flip through it. Uh, it's uh, mostly just a sort of, you know, it, it is a, the journal of a lieutenant in the Cardul army. Um. Right. Most of it is sort of just sort of very sort of typical day to day stuff. Uh, the second the 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 journal becomes I will say this, the journal gets more interesting once he gets assigned to uh, Baron Oninger's group, but we'll get to that later. Yeah, she'll pocket it for now, yeah. uh, and she's going to like look down at his shriveled up corpse, mm-hmm. and she's going to say, "Now you understand what it means to follow a tyrant," and she's going to reach down and you know, do whatever she can, if she can with whatever remains of his face to like, you know, close his eyes. Mm-hmm. I mean, and... it's getting your kick-ass hand crossbow taken. Is he sitting there doing poses in the background? <laughs> <laughs> Just like, clicks in the background while she's having this moment. Like, Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah. All right. Anything else, you guys? Well, then. What are you? What are? What are? What are you guys doing now? I guess we're well, gonna look at that portal. Ugh. Well, then it seems we have a uh, source of this whole portal runs on life energy concept. You're kind yeah. of completely nods. Yeah. <laughs> I guess we do. <laughs> Is anything happening with the uh, runic circle in the middle? No. Okay. Not no. <laughs> Not the vertical circle looks like it was sort of maybe faintly glowing when uh, what's his bucket was in here, but uh, yeah, y- y'all dab was in here, but uh, not so much anymore. Okay, all right. It sort of well, it sort of okay. faded out after he went through the portal. Right. Portal still sitting gonna, there like, swirling. Yeah, Kali's gonna scuff out the runes uh, while we're here, sure. just in case. Uh, but yeah. they don't really—they're sort of carved in the floor, but you know, uh, I can carve more stuff. That's the funny. You're welcome to do that. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Uh, okay. Um, I, I was away when the very start of the, of the combat happened. Did the Hydra's fire breath kill all the remaining cartel soldiers? Uh, uh, yeah, basically. Effectively, yes. Okay. The, the Hydra didn't, but like the... No, the, the ones that you there were... The, the, that were the there. ones that were hiding behind you? Uh, no, they're actually... Oh, they're, actually, those guys behind you are... There are a couple... Some of them got crisp fried, but some survived. There are a couple, there are a couple left. Oh, like, okay. uh, uh, can, can, can we go home now? Or something. What what do we do now? Yeah, Kali is going to look at them, and uh, she's going to kind of wave behind her, and she's going to say, 
Those who rule your people have abandoned you and sacrificed your lives for their own gains. If you, when you return home, you will know the fate that awaits you if you continue to serve them. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. And, uh, yeah, I guess we're going to have to find a way to... <sighs> the only thing I can think to do is we're going to need to do something with this portal. Um... She's also going to look to a uh, deep vein. Yep. He's sort of looking around and, the, or the architecture at the moment. He's sort of going, huh. Interesting. Oh, sorry. Well, what, what, can I help you? I feel that the next path steps that we take are going to lead us potentially far away from here. Hmm. Uh, she's going to look at all the, so all, at all the soldiers and uh, the look at the way that they're all, um, you know, wondering what to do. And she's going to say, anyone who wishes to come with us may. I do not know where we will end up, but we will not be here. Right. But if you wish to find your way back to whence you came, then I will say goodbye to you. Well, the soldiers are all looking like, well, uh... By the way, at about this about this time, you can hear what's uh, no, actually nothing nothing weird's happening at the moment. Sorry, no, that's fine. I was thinking about of something. Course. I'm like, nope, nope. I, right, no, the tower's still nothing bad is happening to the tower. Beto has approached the portal. All right, the portal's there. It sits there, glowing purpley at you, just a different shade of purple. Different not that not a normal shade of purple, and there looks like there are little lines of what look like red energy in it. So, seeing as how Cito is connected to these damn things in some way, I imagine this feels different. Oh, in some yeah. Respect. It okay. I will say this. Uh, you can give me. Give me an arconeral based on your best 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 uh, intellectual stat. Okay, then that would make that Arcana check a plus five. Yep. Because you're using your knowledge, you're you're using your how you use the magic you know how to use to do, to, to fiddle with this to, to look at this. So twenty two, good. Yeah, uh, there is definitely something like the you can tell that the state the portal is no longer as stable as it was before. Something has changed about it. Hmm. Uh, but also that it is not, uh, I'm trying to think, you don't know where, you can't tell where it goes, but it clearly doesn't go where, where it was. I will say this. It feels like it doesn't, it might not necessarily go exactly where it went before. Right. Yeah. That's, I was actually about to, to throw that out to the party, even without you telling me. Mm. <laughs> that, that was, yeah, I'm, you, yes, you, I, you sussed out what I was going for. So yes. Yeah. Well, it would appear that while this portal still stands, from what I'm feeling of it, I do not believe that it is going to take us in the footsteps of that oppressive individual. Uh, I wanted to kill him. Wherever it would take us, I could not even begin to guess. The only thing I can surmise is not there. <sighs> it may not even be worth setting foot through it. Possibly. We need to find some way of making sure that whatever is happening here will not expand further. It may be that the damage has already been done and we can only hope to take on that bizarre entity that appeared before us. And if we cannot reach him now, then it will just have to be something we will have to do later. The way that that individual spoke seemed to imply that they had quite the long con running. Hmm. If, if, it, if this is related to everything that has brought us to this point on our time in our time together, then that may be the case. I would like to know what the arbiters have to say about this. Hmm. <sighs> All right. Um, so you are kind of each types. Uh, do, I mean, does it seem like there's anything going on in this area beyond what this that the portal's weird? So, 
No, the the oh, portal the portal seems the portal's not like a normal portal, but otherwise the area just seems fairly stable at this point. Yeah. Okay. Can we oh. see um the town of uh Baldris from here? Of what? Oh, the nearby t- nearby village. Uh, actually, if you, yeah, you can go to a window and look at it. Yes, you can. You can sort of see it. You can see it off in the distance. You, this place is pretty high up at this point. So yes, you can yeah, see you over can, the woods around the place, and you can see the you can see the the, the off in the distance. Injir just kind of looks out the window, just like we should probably go back and let them know what happened if we're not going to go through this portal and get paid. Yes, getting paid is also important, but. More so that they know not to use this portal. Oh uh, yeah, you may want to. Oh, I will also say if anyone wants to step outside, there there are. I didn't draw them on. There are doors on the outside that lead to a staircase going to the top of the ta- to to uh, the roof of the tower. Ooh. Oh, let's go check out the roof of the tower. You see the gate, the actual normal gate that is here. The, the normal. Oh, gate. okay. <laughs> I, yes, I was like, oh, I forgot to mention the doorway. That's right. Mm-hmm. Uh, on top, the normal gateway's there, and it looks like a normal gateway on top. All right. Oh, so, okay. There is a. Mind, then. You can get to the top and take the normal gate. It just takes going through the city, up the tower, and up all the way up the tower through the gate. So if this is an, an actual gate, like all caps, yep. I mean, we could try and destroy it. The one down below? Sure, you could. Yeah. I had that thought. That, though they are breakable. This looks much smaller I mean, than regular gate. I, I am going to say that like there is a, an evil god thing out there wandering around, just begging to get eaten. So out of character, so out of character, I, um, I propose maybe we punt this decision to next week because I know somebody needs to be going right about uh, now. This does seem like an important thing, like because we either follow through now or we don't. So yeah. So I, I need to know: Are you going to go through the portal? Or are you going to? Dis- right, basically, go through the portal, disable the portal, or leave it alone. Oh, yeah. I think that was the decision that Ash was asking if we could delay yeah. on. Uh, I need, like, okay. I, yes, yeah. I, this, is an impo- this is important. And we, I, I cannot I don't know how plan long. any further unless I have an answer to what, an answer yeah. to that question, honestly. And I, I yeah. I'm at the, but as, yeah. as an aside, I need, I'm going to need a break after this to plot forward going forward because we got to the for my first major plot end plot point that I need to be able to branch out from. Right. Okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, I will say, okay, I'm just going I, to say... I, I just have one question for yes. you, Magda. Given Cito's read, and she will consult the data plate if okay. necessary, uh, does it feel like destroying this would have catastrophic effects for the tower itself or the nearby regions? Uh, depends on how you break it. Um, if you are careful to break, if you're careful, if you, okay, if you just smash the ring, it might explode. Right. Uh, it is possible to, with the knowledge you have, it is possible to ter- basically disable the gate by removing its keystone, basically. All okay. Right. That is, all right. That is, if you want to just disable the gate by removing the keystone, you can do that. This gate is small enough to, that is a reasonable thing to do. And we could theoretically reactivate it by reinserting it later. Uh, maybe <laughs> that you're not sure about. Need... <laughs> I'm willing to take that chance. Cito is going to. Uh, you have to work to get. You have to do it as a group. It's it's not easy to do it, but you can do it as a group. All right, she will. She will. She she will call out instructions and say she's doing this. Okay, is, is everyone cool with that? Yeah. Given that, we, given, given that it, we have no guarantee of where we'll end up, and more, and more importantly, to Kalia, we're not going to go where the god is. Yeah. Then I'm okay with that. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we're not yeah. facing the god. All right, that, that's the thing that I want to. Yeah, fair enough. My line of if thinking is the god. Then I, I'm fine with whatever. that. Is okay. My line. Yes, go yeah. ahead. My line of thinking is by disabling this, we might slow them down in some uh, respect. That is actually not a bad thought. It might make it much more difficult to come back here. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> so. <laughs> All right. Cool. You uh, take some time. Uh, the dwarf, your dwarf friend, is actually a big help in this. Uh, unsurprisingly. Makes and, sense. Uh, and you're able to shut the gate off, and uh, you are now able to head back to town reasonably safely, uh, and get payment. We'll do deal with that at in the next. The results of that in the next session. Um, 
All right. And, and Glitch can uh, fulfill his contract with those. Uh, yes, actually. The, the red caps. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Long and short uh, before we wrap, before we wrap for the session. Um, all right. Uh, this is a point. You guys are all going to level up. Yay! Unsurprisingly. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Uh, and uh, we will we will discuss the actual what's gonna what, what your plans are off stream. That's not that's we don't have to do that right now. Uh, yeah, but yeah. I needed to have a I needed to have a fixed point of what happens to the gate before I <laughs> right, for, move forward. Right. Great, thank you guys exactly. so much. We should wrap up so this kitchen can get going. Um, and mm-hmm. thank you everybody for watching. We we'll, we'll, we will not be back next week. I need a little time to, to I need a bit of time to decide to work out what what my next arc is going to be. You guys have gotcha. you guys have resolved the first arc. Hooray. <laughs> <laughs> all right catch you all guys in the near future i it's gonna be at least a couple weeks maybe a little bit longer i will let everyone know thank you for watching mm-hmm. and i'll see you guys in the near future take care, everybody have a great great rest of your week Bye-bye. bye bye